I, which I did reset, so it should be better, but you guys can let me know if it's not. I'm live. Sorry, I was listening to this noise. Every time I'm back here, it just be all this noise. And I just be like, what the fuck? What's this noise? What's this noise? What is this noise? What am I listening to? But I'm live. Thursday. I know my Justice League video. I have not posted it yet. It's four hours long. <laughs> I had a lot of notes. Um, but I did sort of, I finished my note review process whatever i don't know how to describe it yesterday uh so justice league review video will be up tomorrow tomorrow so justice league review tomorrow snyder cut this has also been like it's been really weird reviewing because it's like i already did the original one and it's weird. I feel like there's never been anything like this before. So I'm just, I'm really taking my time with it. I'm not trying to like rush and put like some shit. Well, you guys might always take time with my reviews. So, and this one's four hours. So, hi. Just wanted to get that out of the way because I said I was doing a Justice League review and I am and I haven't posted it yet. Hi, KK is here. Hi, Bailey. It is Thursday. Hi, Bridget. Hi, Star Dagger. Hi, Kimberly. Hi, Adrian. Why is my Thursday lit like this? Hi, Khadija. Hi, Shelby. That's, what do you mean by lit? <laughs> Hi, Black T. Oh, I see you. Hi, Marcus. Sims 3 Reality Central. Hi, Kai. Corey. Hi, Owen. I know I'm taking a I'm taking a silent moment because CA CA I'm gonna let you know my very first instinct was to block you just now because I saw your comment what do you think of the two-party system what do I Seren think of the two-party system What do I think of the two-party system? Hi, Jared. Hi, Jared. You've never seen me discuss the two-party system? You've never seen me discuss the two-party system? You've never seen me discuss how I feel about the two-party system? You've really never seen me discuss... You've never seen me discuss how I feel about the two-party system, CA. You're trying to tell me you've literally never seen me discuss how I feel... Like, really... Like, I feel bad for my long-term subscribers because I know, right, like, it's not possible if you're a fan. It's definitely not possible if you're a fan. Like, it's, de like, for you to be like, I'm a fan. It's definitely not possible for you to be a fan and not know how I feel about the two-party system. Like, you've really never heard me talk, is this your first video? Like, you really never heard me talk about the two-party system. I don't believe you. Like, I don't believe you. And what I was gonna say, sorry, I got distracted. What I was gonna say was like, I feel bad for my long-term subscribers because like people get here, they just get here and they ask me questions. And I know my, I know my long-term, oh, Owen blocked. Oh, and I knew it would be you because like Owen is the main one. Owen is the main one that be so bothered. <laughs> Owen be like, enough, enough. Enough, <laughs> enough, shut up, block. Like, I feel, I feel like I can feel Owen's like blood pressure like rising through the screen. <laughs> Cause Owen be the main one like, stop. <laughs> That's enough now. That's enough now. Uh, yeah, I've done lots of video like right like we talked about it all through like we just had a major election where we talked all about politics how i feel about the two-party system like 
several videos, several. Like we literally just had a major, like how, I don't know. Hello, hi, hi everyone, hi everyone, hi, hi. Five minutes and somebody asked got, then got blocked. Hi Kylo, hi Jules, hi Mel, hi J Tony. <laughs> I know this review is gonna be five parts, two hours each. Hi Gary, I'm doing well, how are you? Hi John. I was gonna come in hot asking about the review, so you were right to start with that. Yes, tomorrow, Justice League. So next night is Justice League review, tomorrow. Yes, exactly, Jules, woo! Hi, Jared, how are you? Hi, I don't know what that is. Hi, Nicole, been a very sluggish week for me. How about everyone else? Hi, Kyrie, I actually feel like this week's been, I normally feel like my week's drag, but I actually feel like this week has been going by very quickly um, because I've been working on this Justice League review literally every day and it seems like there's just like not enough time. Cause I was like, I'm, I really want to get it done by Tuesday. And then no. And then I was like, all right, I really want to get it done by Wednesday. I want to get it up for the live stream. No. So my week feels like it's been flying by, but normally I feel like my time drags. Hi, Bambusa. How are you doing, Kyrie? How are you feeling? Right, Bailey, look at the playlist, child. Like, do I, do I like literally, I, I want to say like, do I literally, like as many times that we've talked about it, do I literally have to do a video like on litocracy? But like, even if I do a playlist, a video on it and I put it in the playlist, they still not gonna look. Like, I don't know what to do. Like, I don't know what to do. What else can be done? What is DSA? What is that? I don't know what that is. I'm sorry. I'm not, I'm not up on the sh short shorten things i don't know what you call those th the abbreviations <laughs> seren thinks the two-party political system is trash and i've said it a million times i literally have a video called i'm not political even though you know it's sort of like figure of speech because i don't believe in our bipartisan system where i like go into it like you could search people fingers don't work Hi, Francesca. Hi, Davey. It's not possible if you're a fan, sis. Uh-oh, and I'm familiar amongst this. I have a book on politics on my table right now. This is Ren recommended. <laughs> Hi, Michelle's daughter. Hi, Owen. Uh, yeah, Helen Landemore just had a book that came out. Uh, leadership positions in politics should be chosen at random in Seren's eyes. Helen Landemore. Hi, Lex. Hi, other Jared. Kylo. Hi, Ashley. We all have heard it. You said you want it dismantled. <laughs> Subbed in 2014, Michelle's daughter. It's been a long time. It's been seven years together. Hi, Kakashi Cowboy. We talked about political systems all throughout the election. Come on now, Jules. Ops. Hi, Sabra. Owen be tired. Owen be exhausted. Block and roll, Owen in that anime head throb. Yes, like, oh, I feel like, oh, I really feel like Owen's eye starts twitching. Owen be like, I can't take it, block. <laughs> Blood death be boiling. <laughs> Chris, can you send the link for my friend? Oh my God, you got, you know what? I'm not even gonna, we're gonna skip over that. Hi, Avant-Garde, hi, Mistress Cross. There's even a recent video in the on playlist, I believe, where you talk about the alternative to the two party system. Yeah, and the on playlist, there's like tons of, I, I talked about it in like my video, my video on digital surveillance, like on latchicism, all this stuff has been discussed. Uh, hi, Blackamore. I was just about to ask you about the Snyder Cut. Yes, Snyder Cut review video tomorrow. Tomorrow, 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 tomorrow. The O and Owen stands for Oh No Honey Your Block. Can't wait to hear your review. Yay, you, you bought Root Magic, yay! Let me know what you think, J Tony. I got my copies of Root Magic today. I ordered two copies, one for me, one for a friend. Jules, sometimes I feel like people want constant labor from black people. They do, Jules, they do, absolutely. Even other black people, people want and expect constant labor from black people and especially black women i'm even gonna say that constant labor like constant labor like constant labor like they don't have to like as if they don't have to 
Like, as if they don't, like, as if they can't, again, like, as if they can't search, you know, like, all this stuff that you're about to, like, you literally typed in the search bar, like, that question for me. That could have been something you, like, or in the chat or whatever, you know, like, that could have been something that you typed into the search bar on, on my channel, on my page, and, like, the relevant videos are going to pop up. No, people do not think, people really think that they have a... Entitlement, entitlement, that's it. Like they're entitled, like they are entitled to labor. Like they really think that it, like that it's my job to like repeat. Yes, like educate me, educate me. Like I have a whole channel of videos that, that are there as a resource, but like you don't get to like come and ask me every Thursday the exact same question every single time. Right, exactly. Hi, Queen. Seren, can you make a video on your thoughts on integration? <laughs> right, like, right. Or UBI, right. Like, there's videos on that. Like, I do think that the uh, part of it, though, is maybe that, I don't know, like, I, I don't know. I'm not, you guys know I always just say, like, I'm the anti-YouTube YouTuber. So I don't know if it's just that, like, people have a certain relationship with youtube or because i know that like not every youtuber why is it white out why did it just white out like that i know that like not every youtuber like utilizes playlists and i know that like not every youtuber like moderates comments and like like i know that like every youtuber doesn't do that but it's like i do do that so like you could if you're gonna be here you could at least you could at least go through the must watch playlist and the must watch playlist is arranged like I have the videos arranged in a certain order so you can see like how I feel on like all the main topics. <laughs> you can see how I feel about black Americans. You can see how I feel about capitalism. You can see how I feel about politics. You can see how I feel about non-black persons of color. You can like I have in the must watch playlist like there or you can see how I feel about integration. You can see how I feel about white people. You can see how I feel about feminism. They're like all it's it's there and it's even in order so you don't even have to like search through the playlist. You can just like put on the playlist and like let it play. But instead, people will be like, let me wait. I'm gonna come ask Seren personally. I think maybe that's just like the way that people are used to like interacting. I don't know though. Like I've also had to have this conversation with like several people on social media. Like, please don't, like don't fucking, number one, like don't send me shit on social media that's like designed to like, upset me or like upset black people and then be like what do you think of this because this is like a thing what i started doing people will send me stuff and be like certain what do you think of this and i'd be like what do you think i think of it and they'd be like well i think x y and z and then i'd be like so you know already you already know what i think of it so what is the purpose of you sending me this like you're sending me this to get some type of reaction out of me I'm not your mule. I'm not your none of I'm not your I don't even know what to even describe that as. But people do it all the time. Like pe people will send you literally like messed up ass content. I've had to tell people that that too. Like I'm a real person. Like I'm a person. Like you don't have to like sit in my DMs like send me this type of stuff. And I've literally had people be like, oh, I guess I didn't think about it that way that you probably get bombarded with this type of content all day long. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it is disruptive. It's very much disruptive. It's extremely disruptive. And I feel like it's deliberate. Like there's an element of like, ma not maliciousness. I don't think people are being malicious, but like people like seeing people react. Like, they want a reaction, even from people that they like. It's a really weird thing. It's a weird thing. It's a weird thing. Um, and people literally ask, like, what I was going to say that I was not going to say, but now I'm going to say it. Somebody left a comment on one of my videos on Buy Wig. Somebody left a comment that was like, can you give me a link to this video so I could share it with my friend? I was like, I don't understand this question. Can I give you a link? to the video that you're on right now so that you can send it to your friend? But you're on the video, you left a comment. You're on the video, you left a comment. So if you're on the app, there's a share button. And if you're on, 
if you're on the internet, if you're in your browser, there's a URL. What a you, but you need me to reply to you with a link to the video that you're on. Like motherfuckers act like they cannot do anything for themselves. Like they need me to do it for them. Like I can't do it for you. I can't think for you. I can't, I can't do it for you. I'm sorry. <laughs> like I can't do it for you. I literally stared at that comment for like 20 minutes. Like, do I not understand what they're asking me? I've had somebody else leave me comments that was like, can you re-upload this video on Facebook so I could share it? Number one, no. Labor. Number two, like if you hit the share button, there's a URL, there's a um, an embed code. Like you can put it on Facebook. You can make a post on Facebook and like, what are you asking me? Like, what are you asking me? Like, what are you really asking me? Like, what are you asking me? Like, I really be like, what are they asking me to do? Like, are they really asking me? Like, they really, anyways, let me, I'm already behind. <laughs> Hi, Shim Jim. Hi, Blue Sneakers. I, I don't want to like miss people coming in. So I'm going to like look at a few more comments. Uh, Blackamore, yeah, Snyder Cut tomorrow. Yay, I'm glad for all of you that got Root Magic. Thank you so much. And I totally agree with Jules. Like, people want constant labor. Oops, sorry. Constantly. Constant. They want constant labor, especially from, like, content creators or, like, whatever you call it. There's really an expectation of, like, labor, 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 labor. I don't have to do anything for myself. You exist to serve me. Labor. I started some new shots. Ooh, in your stomach. Hopefully it was, ooh, fingers crossed for you, Kyrie. Fingers crossed. It's a pretty long movie, so it's understandable that it would take a while to review. Mel, thank you. I'm really surprised at the amount of like Snyder Cut review videos that I see that are like 10 minutes. How did you review the whole thing? It's four hours long. Hi, Shim Jim. I swear folks just come through here to get blocked. Hi, Mo. Jay, I study journalism. Hi, Line 10 Mint. Uh, I have a degree in journalism with a minor in political science. So that's like my expertise. Uh, like someone saw something I posted on social media about communism and commented, what's wrong with capitalism? Genuinely asking like, why are you entitled to my labor? Right, Jules. And it's like people don't realize like this exact question could have been typed into Google. And you could have gotten like a whole full, well, maybe not Google because like Google ain't, ain't it these days, but you know, whatever. And you would get a whole list of resources on what's wrong with capitalism. But you think that like, you think it's somebody's job to explain it to you. But then you even have people that they do explain it to you, but like you still, like you can't take the initiative. It's really weird. Hi, Real Trini. Hi, Joe. Davey. Hi, Ori. Blackamore, yes, I'm so excited for that review. Oh, and there's blue sneakers. Hi. You bought it too? Black tea? Root magic? Yay. Uh, I've seen three of your videos. I've never seen you park about the two-party system. And even I'm pretty sure you would say abolish it. <laughs> right, which is also like, if you have an idea, this is what I'm saying when I say that people hit me up about shit and they'd be like, Sarin, what do you think about this? And then when I say, what do you think I would think? And then they'd be like, well, I think you would say this. That's, if you have an idea already of my policies, don't ask me stupid ass questions. Yes, I do think there's such a thing as a dumb ass question. Yay, you have to let me know what you think of the book, Black Tea. Free your mind and your ass will follow. Yeah, there you are, hi. I got my taxes done and they told me I owe the government money because I work multiple jobs and no kids. My mom went straight to that video you made about being punished for being single and childless. Kakashi Cowboy, exactly. Educate me. Hi, absurd. Hi, Tim. Queen. Folks have, folks have uh, no information literacy. They really expect the information to be spoon fed to them. Is that what it's called? Information literacy. I've never heard that term before. That sounds accurate. That sounds appropriate. Like they really still want us to be subservient in the year of twenty twenty one. Facts. They definitely think black women are mules, and that is your job to do everything. Hi, Vermilion Dynamo. Ooh, severe weather storm. How are you doing? 
it's 2021 you could spend days watching Seren's content and it's all organized people don't actively or critically listen i think actively listening is definitely a dying art hi marcy they could do their due diligence <laughs> Seren, you should totally dedicate february to unsung women in black history y'all you know what this reminds me of you know some peter hernandez motherfucking fan hit me up on instagram and had the nerve, the nerve, the audacity. They DM me on Instagram and said, oh, you got so much to say about Peter. Of course, they didn't say Peter. They used his black stage name. Oh, you got so much to say about Peter, but you turned the other cheek to Drake, who's also a culture vulture. I literally, I had an eye twitch. My eye twitched. I, my, I was like, is my head about to explode? <laughs> did they really? Did they really? Did they really say? I was like, bro, I literally went, I malfunctioned, Trey. I malfunctioned. I definitely malfunctioned. I was like, I literally went on Genius, which is like not no little ass motherfucking platform. Like if you literally Google my name and Drake, the very first thing that pops up is my Genius video, which is literally called, Is Drake a Culture Vulture? I have a whole fucking hour long fucking special on Genius. Anybody that knows me in real life knows that I hate this motherfucker. Like on a deep personal level, I, I hate fucking Drake. Like I fucking hate this dude. I feel like he really opened the door. I have at least four videos on Drake. I really feel like he opened the door for like all this culture vulture ass shit. Like I have problems with Drake. I was like, wow, like y'all really just say anything. Like y'all really just say anything. And he and this person said it like real big and bold with their chest. Like you got so much to say about Peter Hernandez, but you turned the other cheek to Drake and da 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 da. You blackface for what? I have a whole video on Drake called Blackface for What. I have a whole video on Drake called You Are Hiding a Caucasian Child. I have a whole special on Genius talk about Drake being a culture vulture, right? I've talked about it in The Black Americans. Like, I've talked repeatedly about Drake being a culture vulture, but this person couldn't even do the bare minimum of Googles. Like, they really made a big ass assumption. This shit happens all the time. Like, they just assumed. They just assumed or something i was just like like you couldn't even google like you was really sure like you was really sure and you was dead wrong dead wrong dead wrong they ain't say nothing after i gave them the receipts they ain't say nothing that live you did talking about his hidden viking child like i went in on drake numerous times I was like, really? Come on now. Yes, motherfucker's fave is named Peter Jean Hernandez. And we calling him by that on this channel from now on because I'm not using his fake black stage name anymore. It's at least uh, five videos where you explain your issues with Drake. I was just like, are you serious? Like, motherfuckers just really talk. They just really talk. Then when I curse them out and I blow up, they make videos about me and they fucking talk all about me on social media. Talk about, oh, Seren just blew up on me for no reason. <laughs> like, no, <laughs> that's not what happened. <laughs> um, where? Oh, somebody just did super chat. Who is that? Oh, Kelly, thank you so much. How are you? Just sending my support and love. Thank you so much. You know, I love you. How are you doing? Seren, can you please cater to my TikTok brain? I can't focus. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking absurd. I don't know if it's because so many people have become radicalized in the last year and are trying to do research, but they're not conducting it properly. Right, Jules, which is what I said. That's why I also said in my video, this is not new. Like people need to have a, a lot more, not even a little. People need to have a lot more respect for people and again like like i kept saying like and it's not even just me because i know like everybody like a lot of us that have sort of been in this sort of space are going through this of people that are like all of a sudden they're radicalized and they want to know more and there's nothing wrong with that but you don't then get to like parachute into somebody's space and like stomp your feet with all this entitlement and be like hey you've never talked about this you need to talk about it and you need to explain it to me meanwhile you have people that are like 
well, I actually wrote a book on this 20 years ago that you could read, you know? It's, it's, like, shit, like, it's not new. You, you should have a little bit more, or, or, or something, like, something, like, something is disconnect. There's a disconnect happening. Amara, I've spent weeks binging your channel. It's very worth it. Thank you so much, Amara. I never feel bad when people get blocked because it's so derailing and frustrating for people who have been here. Right, Davy. That's why I say, like, I know it's frustrating for people who have been here and long-term subscribers. Like, y'all shouldn't have to hear the same shit over and over repeatedly because people just got here and they're stamping their feet. They're entitled. They're making demands. Y'all shouldn't have to deal with that, which is also even why I moderate comments. This community shouldn't have to deal with that. I'd be forgetting that I've been watching your vids since 2015. People just discovering you don't want to watch your content. Seren, have you thought about shouting out Black-owned businesses? Ori, remember somebody left a comment on one of these Asian videos that I did that's like, Black people need to support Black-owned businesses. You should do fucking videos on supporting Black-owned businesses because we shouldn't buy from the Asians anymore. Like, and you'd be like, well, even before this happened, some of us have been trying to get, <sighs> let me scroll. Back in 2014, 2017, nobody was spoon feeding us information to help us develop our politic. We had to do the work for ourselves. And people were actively against us, Jules. Like people were actively against us. Stop tagging black folks in traumatic triggering shit and asking us what we think. Isn't it weird, Owen? Like, what is that about? What do y'all think that's about? What is that mindset? <laughs> uh, I remember watching you back in 2015 after your Chirac rant. Been a fan ever since. Uh, this would piss me off too if I could put a lot of effort into the organization and layout of a YouTube channel. And people can't even click what was already done for them. Um... I believe some people are definitely just catching on to you and have not even seen a portion of your content. They come to the lives and become disruptive. Uh, right, Toni Morrison said it in 1975. They also expect black Americans and black women to mule to them for free. People are malicious. They low key enjoy our anger and pain. It's like somebody coming and asking, where are you from? <laughs> I have a whole video, DC Natives Day. <laughs> like, it is a little bit like, like a part of me wants to laugh. It's really not funny, but you guys know I laugh at everything. Like, I have a really inappropriate sense of humor, I feel. Because <laughs> it's just like, okay, like, are you joking? And I'd be like, no, I'm serious. <laughs> people are definitely malicious. It's along the same type of mind frame that prompts people to prank each other. And you guys know I fucking hate pranks. Um, high start page. Uh, is it drugs? <laughs> high Latafita. Y'all saying they deliberately want to raise blood pressure out here. The more information we have access to, the less people want to use it. It's strange. It is weird, right, Bailey? It's very much strange. Oh, thank you, Black Tea Super Chat. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It's because people don't want to do the work. And I have a whole video called what? Do the work. Do your work. Like, it's wild. I try, like, but I do try to have patience. I utilize playlists so heavily because I know I have. Last I checked, it was over 700 videos, 725 or something like that. It's probably even more now. It upticked very, like, exponentially because now I go live twice a week. But... But that's why I utilize playlists because I know nobody wants to go through fucking 700 videos. Like I wouldn't do that either. I mean, some people do, but I wouldn't do that either. I feel like that's what absurd does, but I wouldn't do that either. But that's why I have playlists. So I have like a must watch playlist. So if all you want to do is see the videos that I really think you should watch to like have an idea of like me and what I think in this channel and the conversations and the topics, there's a must watch playlist. There's a playlist on, you know, for the topics, black Americans, black owned businesses, there are playlists. Like, I wish people utilize the resources, which is like a weird thing to say. Hi, Naomi. The internet is very disrespectful. Afro-pessimism is becoming more real every day. I'm starting to think that people really will forever view us as slaves and only valuable for our labor. 
No, I, I, it's fine, start page. Like, if you recommend a book or something, you know, for me to read, that's not what I mean. I mean, like, like you guys, like, at least once a week, I receive, uh, for example, something that's sent to me from, like, Shade Room or from a page that I'm blocked from or that I have blocked, because you guys know, like, I don't like gossip pages and stuff like that. And they will send it to me, and I'll be like, oh, I can't see it. It's, um, it says, like, content not available or something like that. And then they'll, and then I'll be like, what is it? And then they'll be like, it's some Nigerian saying black Americans don't have culture. I wanted to know what you thought of it. Did you really want to know what I thought of it? You know, that's not the same as like sending me books and, and shit to check out like that. Start page is fine. Society's getting dumber and dumber by the day. People have no tech literacy. Hi, Nikki. Internet illiterate. The word activist is thrown around too lightly nowadays. Posting an inf infographic makes you qualified to lead, apparently. Hi, Angela. It's hella easy to share stuff from YouTube. That's just plain laziness. You wrote a whole book of essays and people come in here asking you to write a book. Yay. Hi, Sam. Yes, I do think that Biden has dementia. When Joe Biden talks, I feel like I can't understand a word this man says. And I'm being dead serious. Like, I'm not joking. I'm not being funny. Hi, Black Cat. I have a medical residency exam in 24 hours. Wish me luck, y'all. Good luck, Black Cat. I'm pretty internet illiterate, too. But even I know to look things up. How to look things up. Hi, Zafuri. You okay? People don't know how the internet works. People ask stupid questions to tie up your time. I think people are definitely used to being spoon-fed everything. That's become a pet peeve for me. People asking something they could look up themselves. They want subordinate servitude. People have gotten accustomed to not doing any legwork, but pushing it on someone or something other than themselves. I agree with that also. Like all those people that do like create, like half the time you don't even see the person that like is creating. Someone said infographic. Half the time you don't even see the person that's creating the infographic that actually created it that actually compiled all of the information and created the infographic. It just gets shared to like the shade room or something like that, a large scale platform. And then it sort of like goes from there. It's a very strange space. Don't be sad, Zafuri, send in positivity. Hi, Cher. Hi, Richie. So many of your videos stand the test of time as well. Situations may change slightly, but your commentary has not. The amount of people that still leave comments on videos from like six and set five, six, seven years ago. Like the video on white people, which is literally what it's called, the video about white people. It has never stopped receiving views and comments. Never. Since I posted it in 2014 to right now. It has never stopped receiving views and comments. Never. It has never died down. People also hear what they want to hear. Like, even though the vibe is chill here, when Saren has to stop the flow of conversation to send someone to the related links or say, what do you think I would think? That's time away from the natural flow of convo. I think sometimes people send you stuff also so that you will agree with them and they can get validation. I know I've been tempted to send people things with the hopes that they'll agree with me. Oh, that's an interesting perspective, Nicole. That's probably true, too. Uh, people be ignorant. Somebody's walking by my window. Right. In my social board voice, Drake? <laughs> they don't know you hate Drake. Yes, that's who Peter is, Blackamore. Cue the blackface for what video? Critiquing Drake at the basketball games, genius video. No, they did not apologize, Black Cat. Tweaking. Hi, Billy and Roxanne. <laughs> Drake? <laughs> you have at least four videos on Drake. <laughs> blackface for what? Uh, they think you're silent on Drake. How do you respond to such ignorance and stupidity? I was literally like... Yo, you're dead wrong. And you really said this with your whole chest. Like you typed this whole paragraph. When you could have, before you even typed this this out, you could have like fact checked. Like, you know, like, let me make sure she's not said anything on Drake. Nah, you was gone. He was off to the motherfucking races. Reminds me of when someone commented on a live asking if you ever tried locks. People just be talking just to talk. 
I agree 100%. That's exactly how I feel about Drake. I've mentioned Drake in videos on fucking Bell Callis. Like, I've, like, a lot of this stuff is, like, interconnected. Mm -hmm. Loud and wrong. They thought they had a valid arg argument. The children have no attention spans. Jocelyn Hernandez is the only Hernandez I recognize, the Puerto Rican princess. I maintain that fucking Bell Callis has Jocelyn Hernandez's career because Jocelyn's actually black for real. Oh, and there's Kelly. Thank you. Hi, Hush420. Uh... Oh, um, thank you, Theoretical Views. I see your comment here. I love the way that you articulated the matter regarding anti-Asian violence and the fragile attempts to connect that mess to black people. You helped me sort out the language. I'm glad. Language is kind of what I do over here. Hi, Minnesota. Yay, I'm glad you're doing good, Kelly. Uh, middle name Jean, you're definitely not black. Research is an art for real. I went to a research school and it's very complex. A lot of cross-examination. Yeah, like, and I've studied research methods. So I know, like, research is, like, not everyone is, like, re knows, like, research methods. But I do think we all know how to Google. Our consumer culture poisons everything, I swear. There's a disconnect from their brain. Hi, Adrian. Saying Seren doesn't discuss Drake is like cussing at her. Richie, I was so offended. I was offended. Like, I've told you the story of how, so my best friend, her son will be six this year, right? This is my best friend that had the Asian doctor that had to switch doctors because she felt like her doctor was an anti-black racist, right? So my best friend, her son will be six this year. So when I first met her baby daddy, so at least seven years ago, but it's been longer than that. But like, just to give you guys an idea of the time frame, when I met her baby daddy, me, her, her baby daddy, and my friend, we all went out for drinks. This was in New York. We all went out for drinks. We're all having drinks. We're all talking. Her baby daddy, oh, what you guys think of that new Drake song? Everybody at the table, my best friend and our my other friend that was with us, they were like, oh no, now you're gonna get her started. <laughs> I literally went on a rant, <laughs> like at least 45 minutes in the middle of the restaurant. And my friend's baby daddy was like, oh, I see you really don't like Drake. Like, people know, like, in real life. Uh, like, not just, like, because people love to be like, oh, this is just on the internet. No, like, in real life, motherfuckers, no. Like, I don't like this man. <laughs> like, I have a personal, I have a personal problem with this man, like, as if I know him. <laughs> like, I, right. Like, <laughs> I have a fucking issue. They were like, oh, no, now you got her started. Why did you ask about Drake? Like, I've been hated this motherfucker. Even before I had... Because this was even, like, before Mike Brown and Ferguson and stuff, you know? Like, even before I had, like, a lot of concrete ideas and thoughts on, on you know, like, even before I was, like, super into activism, I knew it was something I didn't like about Drake. Like, even going back, you know, like, going back to, like, when he was first coming out. Not first coming out, but, like, when he was first becoming mainstream. There's some, I was like, there's something I don't like about, what is it? Like, I really had to, like, formulate, like my opinion on this guy like I don't fuck with him people know in real life I don't fuck with him so like how dare you how dare you try to say that oh I just because he was like oh you just said what you said about Peter for like the inter internet or something like that and you haven't even talked about Drake I was like number one I have talked about Drake and I've even talked about Drake in real life like motherfuckers know like it's not this is not like an internet problem that I made up for the internet I have a real pro I have a I wish it was like I have a real problem uh, hi. I hate seeing comments about <laughs> Sharin to grow locks, pet peeve, like, bro, watch her older videos. Um, uh, they don't even listen at this point. Hi, black women read. Hey, Sharin, who is Peter Hernandez? <laughs> you could also Google <laughs> Instead of Googling who is Peter Hernandez, which is less words, <laughs> it's definitely disruptive. Basically spoon feeding politics, that's real. Uh, folks just wanna be seen, so they'll interject in the chat even if it doesn't make sense or isn't relevant to the topic at hand. Big armchair quarterback vibes. 
regarding tagging with triggering stuff, I do think it's emotional labor. Uh, it's the same people that were gaslighting us about this for years. Those are the same folks pretending to be civil rights activists now and asking all these questions, said Ray. Ray, I see you put this little sad emoji face. Do you feel like it's a deliberate? Do you feel like it's deliberate? Do you feel like this is like ops, like operative techniques? Maybe I'm not, I don't know if I'm explaining that well, but it's probably some weird internal obsession with viewing black Americans going through our struggle and seeing the pain and trauma up close and personal. Hi, Teddy. Laugh to keep from crying or lashing out in righteous rage. Can't believe it's been almost six years since I started watching your videos. I know, Trey. People want to be the cause of your next vid. I <laughs> want you to do videos on them. They're asking because they want to know, should I be upset about this too? Lex, but to me, that's scary because it's like, which long-term long subscribers have also heard me say. For me, that's scary because it's like people are asking me to think for them, which I don't want to do. I'm not that person, which is why I've always, since the beginning, been like, please look in the description box. There's like tons of links. There's tons of information. Please read the links. Please read the books. Read it for yourself. Listen to the lectures. Formulate your own thoughts. You know, like, decide how you feel about these concepts. Like, I can't tell you to also be upset about it. I can't tell anyone how to feel. And I don't want to. Which is also why I've said, like, when people have asked me about, like, don't I wish, you know, like, that I had, like, more, you know, like, subscribers, followers, and viral moments and eyeballs on me. And it's just like, nah, I have enough. <laughs> like, I feel weird enough as it is, like, dealing with the eyeballs that are on me right now. Like, I don't want to tell people how to think. Uh, oh, it's over a thousand videos now? Damn, I was way off, Nikki. Your playlists are definitely helpful, but people don't be using them. I definitely binge your content, and it's so easy to. Oh, hi, Mel. You were in a Zoom meeting. Cooking? <laughs> Cooking with me? Uh, I really feel like it's like working at McDonald's, and people are coming to you ordering a number seven, and they think that's how gaining information works. Even knowledge has become commodified. Like, they can just order the knowledge, and I can just deliver it to them in their brain. Like, here you go. And I just like put the jack in their brain. That's scary. That's terrifying. Oh, yay, Blackamore. Woo. Sierra, I've been with you since Ferguson. I'm constantly saying Saren prepared me for this. <laughs> she said this would happen. The playlists are a great resource for me and still are. Even going back to 2016. Torture porn. Yeah. They want someone with a better vocabulary to assign an organized line of thought to what the video is making them feel. I literally watch every single video. They're just trying to get a reaction from you. You're not an activist if you don't get active. And there's a whole playlist called action for people that are looking for, because I've had people say that they want actionable, you know, like, oh, I, I would love to know like actionable things I can do. So there is a playlist on that as well called action. Hi, Diego. Uh, I think the internet is so automated these days that people expect, this is Khadija, hi Khadija. I think the internet is so automated these days that people expect to get an answer right away. It's like people think of a question and they think the answer should pop up as a notification on their phone. They don't know how to search. Hi CMW, that's an interesting point. So I've been thinking a lot about like algorithmic. So I don't know if this is like, a term or if this is just like one of my terms that I'm making up <laughs> but I've been thinking a lot about like algorithmic thinking which I feel like is what you're describing Khadija like an idea I feel like the algorithm is like definitely causing people to think in a certain way because the algorithm just like gives you it just like gives you what you want and it's just there you know like you open up your phone or you open up Instagram or you open up Facebook you open up TikTok or whatever and it's just there it's there and all you do is scroll and you're yeah it's literally like you're spoon fed the information like it like you have an IV drip and it's there and the algorithm though is also like it, it's almost like people think of the algorithm as like omnipotent like it's a god or you know like it's giving you information and like it's giving you what you want it's giving you content and it's definitely like I said it's definitely giving you what you want because that's the whole way the algorithm is designed it's not necessarily designed to give you like honesty or truth or reality it's designed to push advertising, capitalism, and content that you want. 
And so I definitely think that that this idea of like an automated thought process or an algorithmic thought process is a real thing. I've been I've been trying to put my thoughts together on that because I do want to do a video on that concept as well on, you know, whatever automated learning, algorithmic thinking, something, something, something. Still working on my video on semantic leaching. I'm also working on a essay portion for that as well. I have stuff cooking. Um, I have stuff cooking on some of these ideas. I find myself rewatching several older videos to keep my mind fresh. I did see the video of Joe Biden tripping and it was really scary. I definitely feel like I do think he has dementia for real. I really do. Instagram infographics are killing me. Hi, Savannah. Sitting there, Star Dagger. I wish the people that post infographics in their stories would actually read them. Your older video, your old videos are aging like fine wine. They're all still correct. Um, one constant theme in all your videos is you're never not comfortable. Drake is an industry plant. I saw that shit and legit drop my phone. People say you didn't critique Drake. The Drake videos are so funny because they're spot on. Loud, proud, and wrong. Uh, Randy. Hi, Randy. I love your critiques on Black Hollywood, Black film, screenwriting, and creating. I've binged the Black Americans over and over. Thank you so much. Hi, Natalia. Uh... People, yeah, people be loud and wrong with dirty fingernails. They need to pick a struggle. There are such things as black Puerto Ricans. Somebody said they didn't know Jocelyn Hernandez, the Puerto Rican princess, was black. There is such a thing as a black Puerto Rican. There's just a lot of people, like Joan Smalls. Joan Smalls is a black Puerto Rican. The people that we see that are Puerto Rican that are being called black are not it. <laughs> like, that is the fucking problem. Like, you can, like... If you don't know who Joan Smalls is, you can like go Google her right now. You can take a little break. You could like look her up. She's clearly black. She's Puerto Rican, but she's black. Like people never talk about how she's Puerto. She's a model. Sorry, let me throw that in there. You guys know I, I love models. Those are my girls. But like people never talk about like Joan Smalls is just called black. She's literally Puerto Rican. She was literally born and raised in fucking Puerto Rico. But like she's never like. She's just called black, which is the thing. Like all these people that they're trying to push as being like black Puerto Ricans and shit are not black, like, but they do exist. They just get called niggers, which is exactly what I said, like in, in um, you know, my recent videos on this. I was like, you actually do even have black people that belong to some of these groups that we never even see them because they're pushing people like fucking Peter Hernandez and talking about some well, Puerto Ricans can be black. Yes, they can be, but he's not. He's not one of them. <laughs> like, stop that. Yeah, she is. No, 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 no. I'm sorry, Star Dagger. That wasn't like an immediate direct response to what you said. What you said just made me think about made me think about that. Hi, Queen Brittany. Cause like if you're black you're a nigga like they're not calling you nothing else which is like that's part of the mind fuck like that's part of the mind fuck like people love calling fucking bell callus and shit black and then they love being like well there's black dominicans there are black dominicans but she's not one of them like deliberate obfuscation or whatever you would call that hi mickelson uh, we're living in oh it's late stage capitalism absolutely it's it's very late stage uh hi javon hi Ra hi rachel they, they probably had to escort you out <laughs> i started going off <laughs> research is a skill people make fun of having a history BA, but research methods, examining sources, et cetera, have been super useful and these skills are becoming more rare. I totally agree, Marcus. Drake is DMX. I never like, I mean, sorry, Seren is DMX. I never like Drake. <laughs> uh, oh God, that's a hard question. Who do I hate more, Peter or Drake? 
I think Drake is the bigger culture vulture, but I hate Peter. Mm, I don't know if I, ah, that's hard. Mm. David, that's a hard question. I have more years of hating Drake than Peter. I have like at least a solid decade of hating Drake. Peter, I literally didn't know who that was before 2016. All the memories of you talking about Hayden Drake are being unlocked. <laughs> Drake is the greatest actor of all time. <laughs> uh, uh oh, something got deleted. Message got deleted by the Google moderator team. So remember, you guys, that YouTube does have these rules now for the comments. Your comment, just like you can't use like certain words and stuff. Um, I saw somebody brought up Anthony Mackie. I have a video on Anthony Mackie, fuck Anthony Mackie, like fuck that dude. Anthony Mackie is definitely one of like the new people that have like turned over a new leaf since like the whole Black Lives Matter thing didn't go anywhere. Like, because, hi Nova, Anthony Mackie definitely was one of them people like common giving interviews talking about basically how niggers are the problem five years ago, six years ago. But now he's in Marvel. He got this Marvel money. He's not trying to get canceled. So he's turned over a whole new leaf. I will never forget, and I did a whole video on it. Anthony Mackie did a whole interview talking about some black people need to be respectable, you know, wearing dreadlocks is not respectable. You look dirty like a criminal. His his nephew wanted to get dreads and he sat his nephew down and he made his nephew watch The Wire. What? What are you talking about, sir? Had his nephew watch, sit down and watch The Wire and he was like, see? See how all these dudes are thugs and criminals? You see how many of them have dreads? Are you sure you want dreads? You want people to see you as a thug and a criminal? Black people need to do this and we need to do that and we need to do all this stuff to get ahead and da 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 da. And then he also gave a later fucking interview where he outed himself as a raging misogynist that has issues with women and talked all this shit about a woman's fucking place. Fuck that dude. I did a whole video on Anthony Mackie that you could look up still right there. Love that you got me in a joy to cry. It's a whole lot of people out here that have turned over a new motherfucking leaf. Faux rebranding, which I have a video on that. On faux rebranding, which is from before all this George Floyd shit. Because the rebranding shit has been going on for at least the last five years. People that from 2014, 2016 was not on our side. As soon as Trump got elected, a lot of people switched sides. Never apologized. Never address what they said previously that was offensive to those of us that were fucking, you know, putting our bodies on the front lines. Never apologize for calling us thugs and criminals, all that. No, never. But now they want to fucking be giving interviews on trying to get on the right side of history. Fuck that. At least address what was said previously. Microwaved opinions. Hi. Gala Taino, Snyder Cut, yay. I wish I could delete your videos off my brain so I could binge all them again. Drake is a chameleon. J uh, Jules. You know, like, just like it could be something, like people are still bringing up shit from like several years ago asking me about it, it's too much. Um, the algorithm has automated thinking at this point. No one wants to think outside the box. Uh, when you guys say them, it makes me think of that old movie, the horror movie about the people, it, uh, the monsters in the closet or something like that. Knowledge has always been a commodity. This is why we have black academics who gatekeep info for years. Lena Waithe is a menace. You guys know I hate her ass. I've done several videos on her. I have a whole highlight on Instagram about Lena Waithe called Girls Named Lena Are a Problem. Because I also hate Lena Dunham. And I've done several videos on her as well. Was just talking about it in a Discord. How social media has really inflated people's ego. And heralds a lot of people with huge followings as all-knowing. So, Ren, I currently know you have at least 95 tabs open. On my phone, I have 499. I was just looking. Thank you, Ian. On my computer. In my computer, I'm probably in the... 
I have five windows open and each of my windows probably has at least 500 tabs because when, when I reach the limit, I open a new one. Um, Rage Against the Machine is still relevant. That came out in 1992. Oh, you're black and Puerto Rican. Koi, Koi Lurie, Lure, I don't know, am I mispronouncing that? Is also a black Puerto Rican. Rosie Perez is a black Puerto Rican. <laughs> Heebie-jeebies. <laughs> Heebie-jeebies is not a black Puerto Rican. Fucking Gina Rodriguez. There are plenty of Afro Boricuas. I've met black Puerto Ricans in real life. Joan Smalls is beautiful. Um, right, J-Lo is not a black Puerto Rican either. Right, now you got J-Lo and songs talking about your black girl from the Bronx. No, you're not. A black Puerto Rican girl is Joan Smalls. Like, shut up. Uh, Joan's features put her right over the line of Latin passability, so they just call her black. Hi, Kaylin. I believe the algorithm is really changing people's brains and thinking. I do too. Absurd. For real. It's Erasure. Hi, Naturally T.I. Thanks for suggesting Dr. Joy DeGras video. It was a huge listen, but well worth it. Everybody want, everybody want to be black till it's time to be black. Uh, Teddy. I literally have a very old video called Race nationality and ethnicity are not interchangeable like there are so many concepts that people think are interchangeable like black and poc is not interchangeable like these are not synonyms race nationality and ethnicity are not interchangeable concepts these concepts mean different things this is why we see so much confusion all the time like when people be like well, we're all black we're all the same our race can be black but my, for example, my nationality is American. My ethnicity is, I'm a descendant of American chattel slavery, right? So that's my race, my nationality, my ethnicity. Somebody else can be black, race. Their nationality can be Nigerian. There, just pick something. And their ethnicity or their tribe, etc., their culture could be Igbo. That makes us different. Yes, we're both black in terms of race, but our nationality and our ethnicity is different. I have a video, my video on PSA, PSA, so it's in the PSA, the, the public service announcements playlist. PSA, race, nationality, and ethnicity are not interchangeable. I still have my dreads, so I know that video is from before 2016. Might be 2015, which I mean, it is a six year old video. And we are still sitting here in 2021 having to have conversations with motherfuckers on how race, ethnicity, and nationality are not the same. It's a lot. It's a lot. Hi, Cafe Ole. Uh, people like Cardi, parents are not black, neither are even their grandparents. This is all a slap in the face to actual Afro-Latinos. Hi, wishful thinking. Uh, okay, not to single you out, but you have to get singled out because we were just talking about this. Thoughts on the Aretha Franklin series. Now I have several videos on how I feel about Cynthia Arrivo that you can go look up. I have a whole live stream called Thoughts on Harriet. That were my thoughts on the Harriet Tubman video. I have a video that's literally called Stop It, Cynthia. Like again, if you're just getting into this space, that's fine. But you can go look it up. You can go look it up. Like, why are you asking me that question? Why are you asking me that question? What do you think my thoughts are on it? I've talked about it extensively. I've talked about her extensively. We had a whole interaction on Instagram where she blocked me. What do you think my thoughts on it are? Again, and you see even the wording, sorry to be pinpointing you person that just got here, but you guys see that even the wording, you guys see that even the wording is very specific. You see that even the wording is exactly the same, the wording, 
thoughts on thoughts on what is this word what is that what is this question what is this question what is it like they literally like it's literally like a template it's literally like you guys are working off of a of a script thoughts on this what do you think my thought i'm sh pretty sure you should know what my thoughts on it are and if you don't know a very simple search could tell you but even like what is this language what is this language what is this language thoughts on thoughts on it's the same language it's the same words it's the same sentences it's the same grammar it's very much giving source 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 like i'm serious Brittany. i'm serious queen Brittany. like thoughts what do you think my thoughts on if you really wanted to know my thoughts on cynthia revo why don't you go look up my thoughts on cynthia revo i've done at least five videos on this woman and how i feel about her and how i feel about her projects why don't you, like i don't like i want to know i'm really seriously asking because i've noticed you guys know grammar is my life's joy so i really pay attention to like the grammar and like the word choice and the everything like it seems like it really feels like motherfuckers have a, a playlist like they have a page like they're reading from a script thoughts thoughts fuck what is that thoughts yeah it's a really vague robotic way of communicating like 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 which i've had to tell people like i'm a person i'm a person i'm a real person here I'm live right now. Like, you're really seeing me really live in my house. I'm a real person. I'm not whatever you think this is. V right. Very belittling. The thoughts on, like, right. Thoughts on, pay me first since you want resources. Or, again, like, what? <laughs> Wait, Saran ain't a simulation? <laughs> Owen. Or again, yeah, like, I've done several videos on this that you that are monetized that you could watch that would pay me. But instead, it's like, yeah, it's like you want to come ask me during a live stream so I can give you some free labor. Mmm, 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 capitalism! Mmm, mmm. We're not even talking about what we're supposed to be talking about, which is the Evanston, Illinois situation, which we're going to get to. They think you're an automated machine for real. And it's very much like this is what I mean, too, when I say like the algorithmic thinking. And I really think this is like a result of like the algorithmic thinking type type thing, because when you're fucking on Instagram and you're on Shade Room or whatever, or you're on these pages. What do the pages say? The pages like they have a post with like a little setup. And then what does it say at the bottom? Thoughts? Oh, hey, roommates. X, Y, Z, thoughts. Like the language is very much, it's a certain type of language. It's something, it's something. I really feel like it's something, like it's, there's something there. Like, it, there's something there. Hi, Senna, I'm not 100% sure what it is, but like, like I said, like my mind immediately goes to the people that are like source, 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 source. I was talking to somebody and they were like, these people remind me of the, of, of the fucking birds from Finding Nemo. Mine? 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 Like, thoughts? 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 Thoughts on this thing that you've already made several videos about? Thoughts? Mine? 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 Like, it's co- Yeah, it's very much- it's coded very true like Kyrie put very true thoughts is coded a condescending tone is something it's something there with that it's something there with that like somebody literally just got here and they use that exact word th that exact wording which we talked about a whole hour ago when I first went live and they use those exact words thoughts thoughts on what is this language like, and I've talked about this woman a million times, which is another thing. <laughs> People also like, okay, like for example, when they announced the casting, 
I did a video then, or when they or when they announced the casting for us. I did a video then on how I felt about it. When they announced the casting for Fred Hampton, I did a video on how I felt about it. People really have like a very short term memory because they will literally come back three months later or six months later or eight months later or a year later after the movie came out. They will come back and be like, what are your thoughts on this movie? My thoughts literally have not changed since I made a video six months ago when they announced the casting. Nothing has changed. It's the same as that cast. It's the same as like everything. So why are you back here now asking me what do I fucking think? Like, it's, it's weird. It's weird. It's a weird way of engaging. It's a weird way of engaging. It's a really weird way of engaging. I'm not sure what it is. Oh, Salah, thank you. I haven't seen you in a while. Super chat. It's a very strange way of fucking engaging. Like, it's really weird. And yes, you guys know I keep saying, I don't want to keep talking about that shit because y'all aren't, motherfuckers is not talking about the Respect movie with Jennifer Hudson, which I keep saying. If I, like, I'm tired of people asking about this other thing that number one, it's not even a movie. It's a limited series. We all know how I feel about it. We all know how I feel about this person, this woman. Like, I've done several videos on it. Like, y'all gonna let this Jennifer Hudson Respect movie come out and flop because y'all won't talk about it. You are operating on this. People are operating, like, on this very weird preset track of, like, I don't know what's up with their minds. Like, again, it's like this algorithmic thinking situation. And I've, continu and I've continuously said, like, I've done videos on this. I'm not going to continue to talk about it. I want to talk about the Respect movie with Jennifer Hudson and the entire Black American cast. Mary J. Blige is in it. Marlon Wayans is in it. Like Aretha Franklin handpicked Jennifer Hudson to play her. And, and the movie is coming out. The movie has a date and everything. It's coming out in 2021. Why are people not talking about that? You know how many people I've had hit me up to ask me thoughts on Jennifer Hudson playing Aretha Franklin in this Respect movie? Zero. None. None. You know how many people I've had hit me up to ask me about this fucking piece of shit ass woman that I've literally done a bajillion videos on? It's, it's daily, weekly. Folks asking for thoughts, showing they don't have genuine interest in your thoughts. <laughs> anyway, love you and thanks for putting in work, sis. Thank you, EM. I know I'm like so far behind these comments, but like, come on now. Anthony Mackie did that one Black Mirror episode and everybody forgot he's a piece of shit. <laughs> Don Lemon is also one of those people. Anthony Mackie will have no career without the MCU giving him his coins. Hi, Linnea. I rewatched the faux rebranding video this morning and it's still so relevant. Right, saying, damn, I was wrong and this is what I've learned would be the move. Exactly, Star Dagger, because people always ask me, like, well, what do you want? You don't think people could change? Yeah, I think I actually am one of the people that believes that people could change, but you should at least address it. And people don't take accountability. they rather sweep shit under the rug. It's powerful to correct yourself and call out the internalized anti-blackness. Totally agree, Christian. Totally agree. I didn't like Anthony before your vid. After I watched it, I was like, I knew he was one of them. Instead of Grammys, we should be giving Oscars to Drake because he's definitely the best actor ever, fooling the ignorant mainstream into thinking he's a real rapper. You are hiding a child. Will never not be in my head rent free. I love that video. I love Drake slander. Many people don't have strong morals and values, so they just blind into the social climate to fit in their social chameleons. Oh, you never knew that about Anthony Mackie? You could go watch the video. Paris October is still there. That's the thing. If those same people would say, I see it now, I didn't realize the gravity of it all and that my views were in line with the Kool-Aid, but I get it now. I apologize. It would be a totally different thing. Instead, so many people just change their tunes. Boo, all my homies hate women named Lena. <laughs> Lena Horn is the only acceptable Lena. Why do y'all need so many tabs? What's going on? Yes, I have 499 tabs open on my phone. I need those tabs. I'm constantly looking shit up all the time. I need those tabs. I need those tabs. 
Soren literally has videos on how she hates Bruno, Cardi, Lena Waithe, Cynthia Revo, Katy Perry, and Drake. <laughs> and they're literally called, like, with these people's names and everything. Like, I hate these motherfuckers. <laughs> Hush 420. And then people be like, thoughts on Drake? Thoughts? What the fuck? I hate them. <laughs> There's a video that's literally called, I hate this motherfucker. Only you can't put fuck in fucking titles now. But I used to have all type of curse words in titles, but now you can't do that anymore. Good to know there is a tab limit. Yes, there is. It's 500. How does your phone still work? Filling my phone would explode with all those tabs. Oh, I definitely run through phone batteries. I know I don't. I use my phone like in a weird way. Oh, bye, Sim. I know that Chrome has a tab limit of 111. Do you feel super weird when you have very few tabs open? I do, but it almost never happens. Uh, it never happens because as soon as I get a new device, I transfer all my old tabs over. And when I get a new device, I normally just restore from backup. And so all my tabs are there. Why do you have so many tabs? Why not bookmark? Because when I bookmark it, I bookmark things too. I use bookmark also. My tabs are things that I'm actively reading. When I bookmark, I bookmark it when I'm done with it. I also use the app Pocket, and I save things in Pocket as well. I use the, the, the bookmark, reading list, Pocket, and I have active tabs. For the last three years in a row, I've been in the top 1% of readers on Pocket, which is a lot. I read like, I read a lot. I read literally a lot, like 24 seven. I'm constantly reading stuff. Like, I think it's cause I'm a speed reader maybe. I just, I don't know. I have to be constantly engaged. Uh, yeah. Black people referring to us as POC kills me and they do it all the time. Americans not understanding the difference between race and nationality. It's like when Asians expect all people in North America to be white and are shocked when they see black people here. Right, exactly. Um, oh, Queen put a link to the race, ethnicity, and nationality video. I remember how satisfying it was to watch that video. We're different and that's okay. I'm glad you highlight. <laughs> Jules, weren't we just talking about Aretha like two weeks ago? Come on now. Uh, people are really in their feelings now that black Americans are putting up fences around the culture. Aretha's family asked us not to support that genius show. And Seren has been talking about black Americans telling our own stories. Exactly, Bailey. Like, I've been talking about this for at least four years. Even long, actually, let me not, even longer. Because my very first video that I made on is black American, you know, like black American being its own ethnicity and the whole get out conversation was in 2016. So it's been at least five years. The very first video I made made on race mattering was a video that I made on does race and ethnicity matter in voice acting which is from I want to say I had dreads when I did that video and I said yes it does matter so that video is from like 2015 so it's been at least five or six years that I've been in this space saying black Americans you know like talking about this and I've written about it I've been on panels talking about it like I've been on Al Jazeera Plus talking about it. I talked about it. I did a, um, I talked about it. I did a video on Zoe Saldana playing Nina Simone, which got to Al Jazeera Plus. Like, I've been talking about this. And, right, like, does it even matter what I think? Aretha Franklin's own family asked people not to support it. So why are people asking, what do you guys think? Or, like, should we support her own family? Like, I don't understand. Y'all, I don't understand, like, what is the disconnect in motherfuckers' brains? I really don't. Watch Respect with J-Hud. Aretha handpicked her to play her in a biopic. People will really be like, well, it doesn't matter that Aretha's family said no. My favorite person on YouTube said it's fine, so I'm gonna go watch it. That's not a level of responsibility that I want, to be honest with you. <laughs> Like, it's really not. <laughs> uh, oh, she blocked you too, Cynthia? I bet she did, Black T. Serve me your thoughts on a plate, Zorin. It's poking and prodding. 
that's how the blogs frame their posts. They'll repost and say, thoughts to be messy. That's what it's giving. Exactly, Bailey. And now people act like this in real life. Because, like, again, even though we're, like, on the internet and we're on YouTube, like, we are live. Like, I'm a real person. I'm really here right now. Like, I am not a simulation. <laughs> like, people do that shit in real life. Thoughts? 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 Like, as if they're not talking to a real person. I'm here. I'm really here. I'm really here. I'm really here. Seren's job is not to speculate upon your request. If you're new, visit the playlist before you ask loaded questions. I'm really, like, what is this language, Brittany? We got ops in here. Hey, Saren, what are your thoughts about thoughts? <laughs> Have you thought about those thoughts thoughtfully? Thoughts? Thoughts? Source? Source? Hi, Lutho. <laughs> Magic conch shell, Saren, what are your thoughts? <laughs> it's a really vague, robotic way of communicating. The Jennifer Hudson version is the only one I care about. That other one will not get my viewership, not even as a rage watch. Like, it's okay to take a break from the live, look around at Saren's videos, and then come back very belittling the thoughts on like it's definitely a social media i feel like that's definitely a social media thing that has affected the way that people like interact in real life they sound like the damn shade room with that thoughts <laughs> pay me first since you want resources come on they want you to do the labor to finish formulating their own question it's lazy how do you come into a live stream without actually watching the creator's content beforehand? <laughs> Wait, Saran ain't a simulation. I do also think that like, like I've told you guys before, there's definitely people that they have an expectation that they really think like, they really think I'm just picking on Peter Hernandez and that I haven't talked about Drake. Or they really think, you know, they really think that I'm just picking on Daniel Kaluuya. And so they come and they'd be like, well, what are your thoughts on this genius thing? Are you going to support that? No, bitch, I'm not which you would know if you actually even just type this woman's name into my fucking search bar and you saw the millions, bajillions of videos I've made on this bitch. It was like a whole thing when that fucking Harriet Tubman, which is another thing. It was a whole thing when that Harriet Tubman shit happened. A whole thing. So like, how are motherfuckers like just now? Again, like I know that everybody has to like walk the path and like come to their own conclusions. It was a whole thing. And like Lovey got involved and like the Tevin Campbell. This is 2017, I remember, because I was getting ready to go on a cruise, which y'all remember. I literally went live from the airport and we talked about it. It was a whole thing back then that you clearly missed. And so now you're just getting on board this, this train of black American representation, which is fine if you're just getting on the train. But you don't then get to like kick bust your way up to the front and be like, thoughts? 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 <laughs> Mine? 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 They think you're an automated machine for real. People like to be provocative. People are taught to speak in this manner nowadays. Passive aggressive adjacent. Yes, and I hate passive aggressive. I'm not that girl. Like, I'm say it with your chest girl. I don't know how to be, I don't even know how to be passive aggressive. Like, I have, like, I just can't, like, I have no tact. I know this about myself. Like, it's also the inability of people to articulate an actual question. Everyone thinks like the Borg on Star Trek. They even react to the exact same videos. They're Cinna. Aretha Franklin's family complained saying that the series is disrespectful. Like what else is there to say? Right? Like what more thoughts are there to fucking have? Uh, algorithm is like fascism simulating solidarity. Uh, exactly, Jules. Thoughts, very true. Thoughts is coded. They want to know your thoughts on a topic you've already covered. It's very much a condescending tone. It's basically what you said. They want you to think about these topics for them. It's very dismissive and gives me very much. I'm just trying to waste your time. Okay. I don't get out of here. Um, hi, no name. Thoughts, thoughts. Yes, it's very much paparazzi mic in your face energy, Chris. It's harassing paparazzi mic in your face energy. Now what's going on? There it is. Thank you. Shot, 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 shot. Everybody. It's provocative. 
I'm telling you, I think it's a default of social media. It's like poking the bear for drama and rants. That's what people want, a reign of terror. Thoughts on has become a new age social media introduction for traffic to a page. It's liberal vocabulary, very hollow and condescending. Raise the Kratom girl, we need to be talking about Jennifer Hudson, not that other thing. If they knew the smallest thing on your politics and previous free labor, they know what you think about all this. It's definitely disorienting when people ask. They want to start a conversation without putting any effort in. And how can you have a conversation from somebody that doesn't want to put in any effort to know even the bare minimum about the topic before they come? Like, that's not a real conversation. Like, you can almost hear a snapping finger accompanying the inquiry. Right. Thoughts, 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 as if to summon an answer from you on command. Hi, Axaram. Yes, the video is literally called Ayo hey, Cynthia Revo, Stop It. I have a video that's literally called Ayo hey, Cynthia Revo, Stop It. And then people are like, what do you think about her playing Aretha Franklin? I think everyone should go watch Jennifer Hudson play Aretha Franklin in the Respect movie that's coming out in August 2021. That is my answer to that question. I'm not sure why they even bring her up. She's whack. Let's focus on the movie we want to see. People also adore negativity. They will really put all their energy on shit that they hate like hate like hate watching and like i hate this which is why i said people will be like i hate this let me send it to everyone i know so i can ask them what are their thoughts on it and what do they think about it but then if it's something they like they won't do the same thing or if it's something that we should support they won't do the same thing very weird very much weird uh, I'm trying to like get to the everyone is one track minded. I'm so upset that respect is not getting the attention it deserves. Minds are definitely on autopilot. They People want you to keep talking about the same thing, which is also like I'm not that person. Like I know that there's people that will literally be like, yeah, I'm going to do a video when the casting of us comes out and then I'm going to do a video when they start doing the promo for it. And then I'm going to do another video when the movie comes out and then I'm going to do another video when the reviews start rolling in. I'm going to do multiple videos reiterating my same exact views on the exact same topic for money. I'm not that person. Sorry. Once I say it, I move on. People want you to keep talking about the same thing because they love to see you mad, but they don't actually care about your thoughts exactly teddy teddy just said you don't milk content saran you also don't milk content that's also why they ask because they're used to people milking the same content and they expect that from you right i'm not milking y'all for money i'm not gonna keep saying the same exact shit because i'm an anti-capitalist i don't believe in that i agree let's focus on jennifer hudson that's what i want to see i don't care about the other lady she doesn't exist jennifer hudson is low-key a goat a lot of people don't even know the movie exists. It's sad. I, with some bitterness, talk about the Jennifer Hudson version anytime I see a post about the other one because I don't like how she's getting very little attention. Same, Nicole. Every single time somebody hits me up to ask me about that other version, I say something to them about the Jennifer Hudson version and I do a post on Instagram about the Jennifer Hudson version. Every single time y'all have seen me make a post about the Jennifer Hudson version on Instagram is because somebody asked me about the other one every time. That cast is black American as fuck. Uh, the pro high hit flicks. The problem is people can't think past what they're told. They can only repeat what they hear. Mm, I hate how people keep complaining about what we're not doing in film, TV, music, but they pay zero attention to projects that are great. I noticed the same thing, Paris, which is why now I try to like really push the greatness. Like you guys should read like. You guys should read this book, Root Magic. It's great. <laughs> it's by a actual black American Gullah author. I'm not like, it's awesome. I could make a video talking about how there's like not enough black American representation in the book world. And that video will get very few. I mean, and that video will get a lot of views. But I could make a video on Root Magic, which actually is representation in the book world. And it will get very few views. So it's like I could talk about the quote unquote problem and it will blow up. But I could talk about, okay, and like here is a solution to the problem or here is somebody that is working to solve the problem. Here is a black owned business. Here is this. Here is that. 
here are, you know, hidden figures. Those are all the videos that get the least amount of views. Those are the videos that people do not watch. But then they'll sit in my comment section and they'll leave comments talking about, oh, you should talk more about solutions. And I'd be like, well, I do. Y'all don't watch those videos. And since you don't watch them, the algorithm, not y'all, any of y'all here personally, just in general. And since y'all don't watch them, the algorithm will not give them to you. Because this is like getting back to the idea of like the algorithmic thinking. If all you're constantly clicking on is like negative, 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 that's what you're going to be served. And that's on you, not me. People are toxic and gravitate towards negativity. It's getting weird. People can't change without accountability. Uh... Yeah. Now folks are talking crazy about Aretha Franklin's own family. God, anyways. Hi, Chris. Uh, the tabs you need but never go back to. I truly need them. Uh, people change their tune and it feels fake like Childish Gambino, who I did a video on. All these people were requesting that I do a review video of This Is America, which I was like, I'm not reviewing this because this is bullshit. This dude is a coon. He doesn't give a fuck about black people. He has a half white, half Asian wife, wife who he literally hides because he doesn't want people to know about her because he's like pretending to be Mr. Light Black Guy. He has all type of fucking rape jokes and shit all over the internet. Google fucking bro rape, dormtainment, Donald Glover. That shit is still all there. All type of fucking Armenian and Asian jokes. Jokes about Asian girls and Armenian girls calling him nigger. How when white girls call him nigger, his fucking dick gets hard and he automatically comes. All this shit is still out there. Because this nigga made, oh, this is America. Now this motherfucker and made Atlanta. This motherfucker is some kind of motherfucking black icon. I hate fucking Donald Glover bitch ass too. Fuck him, coon. I have a bunch of videos on his coon ass. He's disgusting. He's disgusting. The fact that he hasn't been canceled for them rape jokes is astounding. Astounding. They're still there. They're on YouTube. And like, not to like, I was trying to like catch up to see some of the the Evanson comments, but I feel like I miss them. I personally feel like the Evanson stuff is a great first start. I think it's really, really important, even though now this seems off topic. <laughs> I think it's really, really important that now we actually have something on the books with a timeline in place. Because the... And also everyone involved, it seems like they continue to say that it's a first step, it's a first step, it's a first step. I've watched like several like news broadcasts on it and I've read a lot about it. And it seems like the main, it seems like the main pushback against it is people saying that it's not enough, which I feel like is a bit of a straw man argument because like nobody's saying that it is enough. I, I don't think that anyone is saying that it is enough or that it is the end or that this is where we need to stop. I haven't seen anyone say that so it feels a little bit like a fallacy to see people saying like well it's not enough it's just a first step like we all kind of know that I feel what I think is really important about this fucking Evanston law is that there is a time frame in place you have like it says your family has to have been in Evanston between this time period of 1913 and 1969, right? Which means that, you know, if your family arrived in the United States after 1969, which is effectively saying the immigration and naturalization laws of the civil rights era or the late 60s, you cannot get it. You are not eligible. That's so important to me and that sets such an important precedent to me and I feel like that is really getting lost in all this like chatter about like it's just a start and it's not enough like we know that it's just a start we know that it's not enough we know all that but the fact that they have this timeline in place really important extremely important and I also feel like oh Gary you did super chat ah oh, thank you bye Gary thank you so much and I also feel like the reason why is because I'm pretty sure 
there's certain language that you can't put. I feel like there's certain language that you can't put, that you can't put. Because if you put certain language in there, there's immediately going to be a pushback, which we've already seen. If you put certain language in there, there's immediately going to be a pushback. So I feel like they put that time frame in there because it's like, well, you can't you can't do anything about this time frame. You can't say anything about this time frame. You can't say the time frame is not fair. You can't say you can't say any like you can't say this is not fair or oh this is racist it's discriminatory it's only for black people no it's not rude queen i i, I was going to remove it but you can remove it yourself you can remove it yourself what's rude what's rude is to use a super chat to try to like big up other channels because super chats get pinned to the top so to try to like use other platforms to big up a platform is rude. I kind of feel like there's unspoken rules of YouTube that people don't know about, which even I myself had to learn about. It's that's considered rude to do that, <laughs> which I know because like I did that one time on the video for um, like an ASMR person that I really like. And I like put a comment to like somebody else's page on there and the person removed it and they did respond to me though they were like i worked really hard to build my own platform and a lot of youtubers consider it to be inappropriate to come on their page and mention other platforms especially in pinned comments like super chat a lot of people just feel like it's inappropriate like i'm just well i'm just letting you know how people feel about it taj like a lot of like that's it like it's etiquette. Yeah, like it's YouTube etiquette. It's YouTube etiquette. It's YouTube. It's just considered to be YouTube etiquette. Like, don't do that. People don't like, like, oh, you should check out. Like, oh, if you, this is what I did on the ASMR. If you guys like this ASMR artist or this person, you might like this other person. And then I put a link to the other person's page. And that comment got removed. But the person did tell me, they let me know. This was like, forever ago when I was like first getting into ASMR and the per but the person did tell me they let me know they were like this is just considered rude on YouTube because you have people that they work really hard to build platforms and then like you come along and you try to like piggyback off their platform that's considered in bad taste is all it's like nothing personal it's just considered poor etiquette it's just considered like bad YouTube etiquette um and some people will block you for that <laughs> do <laughs> I've gotten I've I like have before I knew I've gotten like blocked from platforms for that as well it's just cons it's like one of those YouTube rules that people don't talk about um yeah but yes the Evanston thing I feel like the timeline is the most fascinating thing about this because I want to get more so I definitely feel like this is a first step. Absolutely. Absolutely. And I think it sets a really good precedent with this timeline because now I feel like, okay, so when people ask me, how do I feel about, I've had people tell me they never think we're going to get reparations ever, which I totally disagree. I really genuinely feel in my heart, in my gut, in my soul, I feel in my lifetime that we're going to get reparations. I feel like Obviously, number one, we've been fighting for reparations for like hundreds of years. We've been pushing really hard for reparations, reparations, reparations. And reparations have been really gaining momentum, especially because now we know that they can pass legislature, trillion dollar aid bills, and they can create money. I know everyone always says like, you know, the money has to be paid for along, you know, in the economy and like all that stuff, which like I don't discount. But now niggas know. You can create legislature and you can, you know, go through the IRS, go through whatever, and you can just like make money appear in people's accounts. Previously, the main, one of the main pushbacks against monetary reparations and against the universal basic income, which I've talked about in my video on UBI, which came out a couple of years ago before COVID, one of the main pushbacks was like, well, we can't just give out free money or we can't just put money in people's accounts. The government would never do that. Ha ha! <laughs> COVID proved that that can be done, right? So that is like a main block to reparations that now no longer exists because 
COVID proved that that literally can be done. Free money can literally fall from the sky and magically appear in your bank account, right? We know that now. We know that. And so now I feel like the momentum is only going to continue to build and build and build and build and build and build. And I feel like Evanston actually sets a really good precedent, even though I obviously don't think it's enough, do not think it's enough, do think it's just a first step. Absolutely agree with the people that say the fact that it's like limited to housing is shady as fuck because they're definitely trying to say like niggers don't know what to do with their money, which is offensive. Absolutely. But I feel like now that we have a precedent set that has a specific timeline on it a time frame on it that's good for us because now we can have other things get put into place that have that same type of timeline on it and you have to prove that your family was in this town or in this city or in this state or in this place right between this period of time meaning they did not come here after the civil rights era and that you can sort of trace a through line through your lineage as a black American and how you've been affected by these policies. That to me is the most important part of what's going on with this like Evanston thing. And so I kind of think that that's getting lost in a lot of like chatter and straw man arguments. I'm not talking about anybody in particular. I have not seen anybody. Like, I'm, I'm just talking about, like, general conversation. Like, I haven't seen any other videos on it. Like, I'm not talking about anyone. Before people be like, I'm talking about somebody. I'm not. But I just feel like the, a lot of the general chatter that I've seen about, like, it's not enough, and it's not enough money, and it's not this, and it's not that. I feel like are kind of, like, straw manning because, like, I don't think anyone thinks that, like, this is it, and this is the end of reparations, and this is all we're going to get, and this is enough. I don't. I don't like even the people that are involved keep saying that it's only a start so that just feels like dialogue that is going nowhere that is pointless to me in my opinion I really think that this timeline they put on it ooh, I love that and I know motherfuckers is seething because they parents came here in you know 1985 or whatever and they're like well we're blood too we should get it no bitch no and none for Gretchen Wieners, which I know is petty. So, yeah. People are weird. Okay. And now I'm, I'm back in the chat. I'm sure you guys have talked about what I was just talking about. But, you know, I'm back. Lena Horne was extra black and twice on Sunday. Can't stand passion aggression. Clear Sagittarian trait. Bluntness the ignorance for me Soren isn't your seven of nine they're trying to get her an ego like why she's not impressive at all independent thinking is a practice my mother always challenged me to think except when it backfired in those teen years uh what blackamore i did not are you joking that's not funny forget it uh we're living in the matrix they're trying to see if Seren is who she really says she is. Right. I think that's really a part of it. That's a part of it, Hush420. No acting here. Uh, who asks a question on a topic that they haven't even researched themselves? What kind of sorcery? Scream and educate me. That's outrage marketing working. Which I have a, a very old video from 2014 on outrage marketing. It's called like hipster racism and trolling for rage clicks or something. Because outrage marketing is a real thing. Like they push shit that they know we're going to be mad at. This video is definitely from 2014. Which means seven years ago I said I'm not talking about fucking hateful content anymore. And here we are in 2021 and motherfuckers is like thoughts on this hateful ass shit? Hate watching is the reason so many stupid people are famous now. Mm, misery loves company. Uh, they're not even trying to engage. Hating a thing is marketable. Plenty of companies are cashing out on that mindset. I hate repeating myself. I said what I said. TikTok is huge on that. They will spread around hate videos, but do nothing to take them down or report them. Bigots get bigger platforms and stay relevant because of hate watchers. I don't understand how people have not caught on yet to the fact that like outrage marketing and hate watching and like trolling people for rage clicks is a real thing, especially fucking black Americans. If you haven't seen that video, it's a real old one. So the quality is not there. <laughs> um, but the content is 
what we're talking about right now. And this is 2014. And the reason why I did that video was because the New York Times, which is a white ra nationalist rag, which people that might remember when I had Twitter, I used to tweet every single year. The New York Times is a white nationalist rag every single year. And New York Times ran a f fucking front page article that said something, you know, like something racist. And I was like, this is clearly objectively racist. Like this is obviously like marketing. They want you to like read it and click on it. Hi, Alex. It was something about, I think it was one of the like, oh, you know, science says that like black women are the least attractive, something like that. That's objectively some bullshit that's meant to piss you off. Like, and I, and I, but I do think that like, because I, I was a journalist, I can like see spin really good. So, and I think a lot of people can't. Provocation is currency. Exactly. Absurd. Exactly. Uh, uh, Seren, those us, the people that have been watching your channel on the on a while for a while, we want to move on and discuss other things. And y'all are still asking her about Cynthia. It's too much, right? That is disruptive. It's disruptive. Are you talking about the Suicide Squad? Because that's a sequel. Oh yeah, that's a sequel. Yeah, I'm talking about the. I'm holding out for the ire cut. The Suicide Squad is a sequel, which I haven't decided how I feel about it. Even if you legitimately don't know what Seren thinks and you're too lazy to look shit up, you could just quietly sit and listen. Information has a tendency to reveal itself through attentive listening. Someone else said earlier that like active people don't actively listen. Uh Hi Kendrick. Uh Yeah, see Taj, have you Watch my videos on Hollywood and Black Americans. Have you watched any of my videos on that? I'm at, I'm really asking. The solutions get less traction, which brings us to the point of people simply want whoops. People simply want controversy. Yeah. Exactly, and the algorithm won't recommend it. Hi. As you get older, hate watching makes less and less sense. Like, who has the time? Just watch and support stuff you like. Now everyone gets the commodification of black death for little baby. But Donald Glover crawled so little baby could run. People loved it. Yes, race play. Yes, Amara, race play. Donald Glover was all about that race play shit. Now he's This Is America while he hides his fucking half white, half Asian wife. And them fucking... Them little tragic mulatto kids, too. He keep them under wraps because he doesn't want anyone to know. With his rape jokes. Go ahead and look them up. I mean, they are triggering, though. Like, they literally simulate rape. So, just so y'all know. Um, and he wasn't made to apologize for the jokes. Donald Glover has never been held accountable for that shit, ever. Uh, Donald Glover is a professional tap dancer like Mr. Bojangles. Uh, no, no amount of reparations will ever truly be enough, but that's not a real counter in my opinion. Right. That's what I mean. Like it's a straw man argument. And we've talked on this live stream before about like, what do people feel would be like reparations? And it's like, people can't even really... Like, we all, people even have a very different idea on, like, what reparations sh should be. Like, some people feel like they just want money, monetary. Like, we need money. Some people say, you guys know we've talked about this during lives before. Some people say it should be, oh, not just money, but it should also be housing. It should be housing, you know, free, free homes, free land, housing credits, money, stipends, grants, stocks one of you guys said in a live stream that you thought stocks like stocks and bonds and uh ownership in companies especially companies like Aetna that got their start off of slave labor there's companies schools all type of shit right now that got its start off of slave labor a lot of people feel like black Americans should have ownership in all that so I also feel like reparations is I feel like reparations should be all those things. Like I'm one of those people that feels like we should get uh, option F, all of the above. But like reparations is, you know, 
reparations is a lot of tangible things. And I do, again, I do think that the most important element of this Evanston thing is the timeline that got put in place. Because now we have a precedent of if you were not here already during this, you know, post-slavery, but pre-civil rights era moment, you're not, it's not for you. That shit is, it's amazing to me that that actually got written down and included because they've been pushing against that shit for like so hard. Like with this, we all the same, we all the same, we all the same. So the fact that they put that in there means that there's some type of understanding that we're not all the same and that things changed after these immigration and naturalization laws. Now they don't have to say those exact words in the legislature because they put the time frame there and that's what the time frame means. So they kind of found a way to get around the language that you know people would find offensive, right? Well, why, why does your, why, why, why? Oh no, all you have to do, all you have to do, all you have to do is prove that you were here. Oh, you weren't here? Oh, well, hey, you know, nothing for you. None for Gretchen Wieners. Bye. It's almost like fake outrage. It's absolutely fake outrage, Jules. Which I've also done videos before on before. There's a lot of people that really do, like their job is like for you to be outraged so they can talk about it. There's a lot of people that do not really want liberation for black Americans. I want liberation for black Americans. Like, cause I'm, I'm not a cap, I'm an anti-capitalist. Like I really don't care about money. But there's a lot of people that like, it's their job to talk about out outrage and stuff. And so that, you know, like it's, it's, what do I want? It's the ecosystem. There's an ecosystem. There's an ecosystem that runs off of it. So, which again is why I'm also saying like the algorithm and like the shit that people click on and like the hate and the negativity. Like again, I could do five videos on a movie that's coming out that has a foreign black lead and not a black American and they'll get, they'll get 10,000 views, 20,000 views, 30,000 views, 40, 50, 100, so many. But when I do a review video on a movie that has an entirely black led cast, like if Beale Street could talk, nowhere near as many views nowhere near as much engagement the like and the solutions never get as many views and i've been in this space for a while so i can tell you like pretty objectively the solutions and like the actionable stuff never gets never you guys know my hidden figures videos are my least viewed ones and they're so short like they're short sweet they barely they ne hardly ever even break 500 views hardly ever but I could probably do a video about Peter Hernandez every day of the week and get millions of views. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> like, I'm not going to fucking whore myself out in my mind, my thoughts, my ideas, cannibalize myself for fucking cash. Sorry. Um, no disrespect to sex workers. <laughs> um, no, that's incorrect. I'm going to remove that because that's false. Hitflix, have you actually read about the Evanston thing? Because that's not true. People do that a lot, paying just to have their message highlighting. Right, Jules, me, every time y'all mention that certain discussion panel, it's very weird. You realize that it's been almost four years since I have been on there and people still come regularly and ask about it. Y'all don't think that's weird? It's weird. It's weird. They want me to say something about it. People want me to say something about it so then they can run, because this is also a thing, right? So said, which is why I always go out of my way to be like, I'm not talking about anybody. I'm not talking about anybody in particular. I'm not talking about anybody else's channel. I haven't watched anybody's video. I'm not talking about nobody, because y'all not y'all not try to catch me slipping out here. Absolutely not. Uh, I learned that rule here too. Uh we already started. I believe we're close. We're definitely getting rep. You disagree? Oh, did somebody say they don't think we're getting reparations? And you said you disagree? Or I think I missed what you were replying to, Kai. This also happened in Cali prior to Evanston. I feel like it happened in Oakland or something, right, Black T? However, Evanston has put the specific timeline, which is key. That's the key component. That's the key motherfucking part. 
Oh, it is Oakland. Queen Britney put. Like, I watched the reparations. Like, I watched the reparations, like, movement. Not, like I said, I'm not, I'm not, I'm like an anti-YouTube YouTuber. I really don't watch. The only YouTube videos I watch regularly is bitches doing nails and black ASMR. <laughs> Those are my main <laughs> YouTube videos. Now, I can tell you about some acrylics, some dip powder, you know, but I, outside of that, I mostly read other stuff and watch other stuff um california but i do i do watch like across the country like different reparations programs i keep an eye on the universal basic income programs they had another one of those in california where they were giving people 500 dollars a month or something like that because i want it we need a universal basic income like i'm, I'm why i keep my eye on it California is giving only black folks the incentive to move to Oakland. I knew it was Oakland and offering all black families who make less than, than is this 59,000? 500 monthly for 18 months. They de they have our bank accounts, no more excuses. Y'all need to pay what y'all owe, make it happen. Now that the door is open in Evanston, the floodgates can open. It just takes a precedent. That's how I feel too, Mateo. Uh, stimulus with straight free money. Thrice times stimulus checks have come out. No more excuses. Exactly. Free money. Billion dollar bailouts. COVID has proved a lot of stuff. Yup. COVID has definitely proved a lot of stuff. Uh, precedents build. And that I feel like that was like the main, 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 main pushback. Government's not going to give out free money. Well, bitch... What's your reason now? <laughs> oh, well, we have no way of knowing. We have no way of knowing who's going to get it and who's not going to get it. Well, we can put a timeline in place. We can track through the census records. We can track through the fucking, um, I want to say like ownership documentation, which still exists. We can, we can create a whole committee, a whole task force of um, Library of Congress historians to go through documents and figure out who is who between this certain time frame. You guys can say whatever you want the time frame to be. Um, you know, 1640 <laughs> to fucking 1965, whatever y'all want the time frame to be. And we can figure it out. And now we have precedents set as of 2021. So I'm not trying to hear it. They they all like they already put the precedents in place for us to get reparations. I don't know how you guys can really believe that we're never going to get reparations. Like how can you guys believe that? I that to me makes no sense. Like they need to push this to be federal and make it statewide and Chicago wide. Yes, absolutely. COVID has exposed how a ton of stuff in this country is bullshit. Uh, like, come on, you can clearly see last week's videos about the anti-Asian sentiment. No, people just come here and talk. They don't look at, they don't look. Which I think is also another thing, which I've said previously. People see the live stream suggested, and so they just click and they come in and they be like, do you think black Americans are our own ethnicity? <laughs> stuff like that. I do think there's a lot of assumptions that are made because I'm a black woman. So people just assume like I'm a black, like you guys would be amazed at some of the comments I receive just because I'm like a black woman that has natural hair. People think they already know what I'm gonna say about everything and they'd be dead ass wrong. Just like the person that was like, I know you haven't talked about Drake, wrong. I hate that people act like we can't trace our ancestry. These people kept record y'all, let's not be obtuse. Hi, Anthony Ellison. Uh, reparations needs to be a gen right, like right, like it's not. I don't like. I agree with Queen. Queen was like, nothing is really enough. Reparations needs to be something that's like constant. <laughs> reparations needs to be a generationally evolving deal, not a one and done. Uh, I want money and land, also with programs for those needing financial advising. A lot of non-descendants of American chattel slavery are going to be big mad over that time frame for the benefits. Queen Brittany. Brittany said, I could tell some of y'all do not read. <laughs> I'm telling you. You know, I'm telling you. Uh... 
Let's see. Yeah, exactly, Owen. They only read the headline. They only read the headline. Hi, Ethereal Beauty. Hope you are happy and healthy as well. Seren has been out here spitting facts about the hypocrisy and racism that these platforms have for years. People just getting on board. Hi, New Eros. I'm still trying to figure out how foreign blacks feel psychologically entitled to American reparations. Like, how? New Eros, we're going to discuss this in Instagram DMs. <sighs> Laugh my ass off. I remember that. Wasn't this study about black women being the least attractive made up by an Asian man? It sure was, Chanel! You remember! You remember! You remember! You remember. Diaspora war has already started over the Black American benefits in Evanston. I've already seen many Africans and Caribbeans removing flags from their bios saying they need it too. Hi, Cherry Man Gaming. Everything now is about clicks and engagement over honesty. The United States government was supposed to give us 40 acres and a mule a long time ago. They played us. They need to pay what they owe. It's not that hard to understand. I also find it really interesting that people say they don't believe we'll ever get reparations because like... Like, you guys also see how, like, when niggas started, like, lighting shit on fire and destroying property and destroying shit and how, like, when motherfuckers said they wasn't going to play these basketball games anymore. I have an old video on the University of Mizzou, University of Missouri, the college football player said they wasn't going to play until some racist shit at the school was handled. That shit was handled the motherfucking next day. Literally, literally, the head of the school handled the shit. It was going on for months. Up until that point, as soon as the fucking college football players, this video is still up. You can type in my search bar on my channel, M-I-Z-Z-O-U. As soon as the college football players said they wasn't going to play anymore, that shit got handled. Like, y'all really think... Like, if niggas continue to burn shit down and continue to fucking not play sports like i have a real issue with barack obama when it came out that basically barack obama talked lebron james like out of his fucking boycott like issues there's issues i have issues with barack y'all really think like niggas don't have like if all these niggas said they wasn't playing these sports wouldn't be no sports sports is a billion dollar industry if all these niggas said they wasn't gonna play sports no more it wouldn't be no sports if all these if all these niggas said we not working no more we burning shit down like we could disrupt, like y'all talking about, oh, the American economy and this, that, and the third. The American economy runs off niggas. Like reparations is not no pipe dream. Or if you really feel that, that's fine. But I don't agree. I don't agree. Don't agree. And now they're pushing for a universal basic income which we're kind of halfway there because they introduced this tax credit for if you have children, you get $300 a month per child, which they're trying to push to make that shit permanent. So if we get a permanent $300 a month little addition for children, that's one more step to UBI. And if we get to universal basic income, which I also think we will, because there's just not enough jobs, there's not gonna be enough jobs in the age of automation, period. You can watch my video on UBI. You can watch my video on capitalism, where I go on econo I go in on economics in depth in the United States, right? If we get to the fucking UBI, we are also another step closer to reparations because we're talking about monthly money that comes in from the government, especially because black Americans are the main drivers of economy. Like, and every year it gets louder and louder. It's not getting quieter. It gets louder. Going back to Callie House, who was one of the first women to fight for reparations in the 1800s, which you would know if you watch the Hidden Figures videos, it's only gaining momentum. Like, how can people really believe in their hearts that, like, this momentum is going to, like, dissipate and we're never going to get reparations? I, I feel like that makes no logical sense. I understand from, like, a a rhetorical sense of, of like thinking that American government will never give us reparations because reasons, racism, from a rhetorical sense, I understand that. But from an actual practical 
sensible, logical frame of mind. You really think that we can continue on with all this racial reckoning and all this talk that black Americans are having? You really think that none of this is going to go anywhere? That makes me think you don't care about black people or that you don't believe in black people. You think niggas just ain't shit. I, I'm sorry. Like, I believe in niggas. I believe in you niggas. I believe in you. For anyone that finds that offensive, I believe in you black Americans. Like, y'all really don't believe in us. Um, I don't agree. I disagree. And we are having the building blocks that are being put into place with these precedents. Bye, Ori. People love to agitate themselves. Uh, hi, Sabrina. I've said this before and I'll say it again. At minimum, black DACS are entitled to $50,000 non-taxable checks for reparations and it should be given out to people who had at least one black DACS grandparent. Uh, yeah, of course my opinion about the amount is subject to change. I think it should be money and let everyone go about their business. So you think it should just be money? They should make us tax exempt and wipe out our debt. We should never have to pay federal or state taxes again. We need money, land, and programs, and free education, no taxes. America as a whole needs to be dismantled for me. True too. So many forms of reparation in addition to money. Reparations is multifaceted. Thank you, that's the word I was looking for, multifaceted. Reparations is multifaceted. I got a laundry list for reparations, free education, land, all that. The whole kit and caboodle. Citibank was off slave labor, Tiffany and Co. Yeah, like we should all get like ownership in all these. Etna, I want to own Etna. Etna is on my, I'm gunning for Etna. Etna is on my list. Number one on my list is land, our own pockets of land and money to build communities. Reparations should also include protection, no hospital bills, free medical insurance hi bambusa they're doing that 300 a month for children to cut poverty they should add on more specifically for black children since due to the wealth gap black children suffer most in poverty that could be reparations as well right and so it's like and that's like a, again like that's a building block like once precedents are set let me also say lobbying is a real thing. I am from Washington, D.C., so I kind of have like an idea of lobbying. I know in a certain type of way. Once precedents are set, people literally hire lobbyists. This is a job. People go to Congress and lobby for other things. And then they'd be like, well, in, e you know, like, well, in Evanston, you guys did this and this and this which sets a precedent. So why can't we do it in Chicago? Why can't we do it here? Why can't we? That's like literally people's jobs to lobby for shit. Oh, and yeah, and there's Ori. Facts. I mean, why do people think they don't have financial literacy as a subject and why watch school systems? This is all very important. I really find it weird that Africans be wanting when Black Americans are own when continental Africans fight is really with the UK and Europe. Uh... If Bill Street could talk was such a gorgeous movie. Oh, God, I stand that movie. I love it so much. I, mean, I could trace all my great, great, great grandparents here on this land. America was being all my people, I swear. Bill Street was really good. People love to be messy. They want to stir mess. They love drama. Yes. People are passive listeners. Yes, Oakland is where... The reparations started, now they're trying to push it statewide in Cali. If you search Alelia Walker on YouTube, Seren's video is supposed to come up, which shows me that the work is important. You know, half of the women that I do hidden figures on, they don't even have a Wikipedia page, which I'm thinking about like signing up for Wikipedia and making pages. Half of these women, like all like the, the, the write-ups that I put together for my videos, I put them together myself. Cause like half of these women, like there's the information is out there, but I know how to find it because I know research methods. I know a lot of people, if there's no Wikipedia on it with the links right there at the bottom, they're not gonna know. <laughs> DACS everywhere. Uh black American family, you can also pretty easily you you often can 
pretty easily traced to 1880 and 1900 census. People do need to be educated on this matter. My two cents. No, I agree with you, Black T. UBI is long overdue. Please watch the Brooklyn Black Americans episode. It has a lot of good reparations points. That's in the Black Americans playlist. The Oakland Homeless Program is privately funded and being managed by the mayor's office. Which is also like when people be like, well, we can't pay for it. Um, you have motherfuckers that right now that's trying to fight to implement a wealth tax. If that wealth tax really gets implemented, that's another precedent. That's another building block. Oh, well, we got a 3% wealth tax to pay for a UBI. Why don't we bump it up to 5% and we use that money to pay for reparations? Like, it's building. Like, we're building. Like, we're building. We're trying to build. We're trying to build. <laughs> we're trying to build it up. <laughs> 1870 to 1969, you think that should be it? Black tea? Let me screenshot that. 1870 to 1969 precedent 1776 to 18 i was like 1640 <laughs> i took it way back <laughs> uh library researcher here yes we do genealogy all the time and there are specific databases for focusing on black americans uh oakland unified school board is scheduled to vote on an education reparations program for its students currently only 18 percent of k-3 through black students can read we gonna get it one way or the other yeah, we're going to get it. Uh, thanks to, my, to Ancestry, I was able to track my lineage down to slave plantations in Georgia. They can give us money. We know who's who. And it should be residual, not a lump sum. We will. I know we will see reparations in, my life, in our lifetime. I'm joining a committee to bring it to court. Still in my research phase right now. That's awesome, Billy. Roxanne. Through my paternal grandmother, I could prove my family was here a couple years after the Civil War. I recently found out my great grandfather maternal side. Oh wow, from is a Black American from 1924. Like my family's been in Washington D.C. for at least three generations. We literally have pictures that are dated from the 1930s and 40s. That's right over there on motherfucking you know, Calmia Road. <laughs> like, we've been here. They act like, right, exactly. Christian, I just saw your comment. It's fake complicated, right? It's fake complicated. I saw a stat that there were less than 1 million foreign blacks before 1970. We are the rule, not the exception. They love playing games. So, okay, so did you guys know that before the civil rights era, immigration and naturalization laws, which our fight for liberation, for Black American liberation and the end of Jim Crow and segregation led to immigration and naturalization laws that made it very much possible for all immigrants like, like that were non-white to come here to the United States. Prior to the immigration and naturalization laws that were passed during the civil rights movement, do you guys know how many African and Caribbean immigrants on average were let into the United States? Twelve per year were allowed. That's it. That's all. Like, so few, which is why when I seen that they put the cutoff on the Evanston shit at fucking 1969, I was like, yes, who put this in here? I wanna go, I wanna find the specific name of the person that put that fucking date in there because they know their fucking history. You guys know, like, it sounds corny. And I know I keep saying it and it sounds corny. Like, if you don't know your history, you won't know. You won't know the future. You won't understand what's happening now. It sounds lame, but it's true. It's really true. Like, all this talk about, like, well, we're all mixed up now and we're all the same and, like, there's no way of knowing. Like, Prior to fucking 1965, well, let me, that's too far. Prior to 1970, they were literally only letting in 12 black people from foreign countries a year. So if you know that, which now you guys do, it's literally ridiculous to hear people be like, there's no way to tell and all this other stuff. Like prior to the 1960s, none of you were here. 
There's a reason why when you guys ask your parents about when they came to the United States, they came here in essentially the 70s, the 80s, and the 90s because there was literally laws on the books, literally before a certain moment in time that was banning people from coming here. You even got the right to come here because of black Americans. But motherfuckers don't know their history. They don't know their history. So they don't know. They're confused. They don't understand what's happening. You really have to understand the history of the United States to understand what's happening, which is why I tell people that they cannot fucking talk to me because they don't know what they're talking about. Just like last week's live stream where I was like, people try to argue me down about historical facts. They think I'm just talking about my opinion. And I'd be like, I'm not telling you my opinion. I'm telling you historical facts. I'm telling you actual facts. You're giving me your opinion, which is wrong. Your opinion is wrong. Like your opinion of like, we're all the same and like all this other shit is incorrect. I'm telling you historical facts. Yes, the Immigration and Nationality Act of 1965 changed everything, literally. I'm telling you facts about the amount of fucking non-black Americans were, that were here. And you're telling me your opinion that we're all the same and none of this shit matters. You're wrong. That's why you can't argue with me. That's why it's seven years later and all my videos are still relevant damn near close to a whole decade later because like I'm telling y'all about history and objective facts. People can't people can't tell facts from opinion, but that's a whole let me scroll back up to these because that's a whole other <laughs> that's a whole other thing. <laughs> uh okay, where was I? Where was I? It's fake complicated. It's saw a stat that said there were less than 1 million foreign blacks before 1970, where the rule, not the exception, they love playing, playing games. Your family, all our families can be traced. All of our black American families can be traced. Hi, Tierra. It needs to be generational until the gap is closed. Thank you, Taylor. You said reparations needs to be generational until the wealth gap is closed. Uh, much respect from Nashville, Tennessee. Woo woo, hi, Mash. I mean, 1619, late 1500s, what y'all want? We got the dates. I would say 1619 to, to 1970. 16, 16, mm, maybe 1965. Something like that. I would go, I would start 1619 though. I would start in the 1600s. Because we had, we had, we did have free black communities like in St. Augustine. So I would, I would throw it back. Like that predate the United States. So I would throw it back. Uh, yay. Agreed. We had generations of slavery and Jim Crow. So we need generations of reparations. Hi, Alexandra. Yes, Mizzou. I have a boatload of sources for Black American genealogy that I've been gathering. Uh, the NBA players really could have gotten some leverage if they really stuck with it, but then here comes Barry fucking it up. I cannot stand Obama. I hate it when Barack did that. Barack always pushes against reparations because he wouldn't receive them because his father is Kenyan. <laughs> so, like, of course, like, we cannot trust... Barack Obama on anything related to black Americans because he's not one of us. They tried to front like he was one of us. They had my nigga taking pictures, smoking Newports and all kind of shit. Michelle Robinson is one of us. Barack Obama is not one of us. So of course he's against shit that would benefit us. Uh. We have influence. We don't care if they're mad. We have to worry about ourselves. We could really spark some shit. NCAA is a billion dollar industry. Uh, I'm for UBI. Just add an extra band on top for us. I think we definitely have a lot of social economic power, but they love for us to believe we have nothing to hold over them. Boondocks joke that NBA strike would be the start of the revolution. Aaron is the genius. Yes, and my head of figures video on Johnny Tillman, who was fighting for a universal basic income, but the white women said no, because they said that black women, domestic workers, and people that work in the home shouldn't be paid. Because why? 
okay? Racism. Because white women was talking about some, we're fighting feminism. We're fighting to dismantle the patriarchy and work outside of the home. So so we don't want a universal basic income because we don't want those nigger women that work in our homes and clean our floors getting paid. We don't want those black women getting paid. So much of mainstream white feminism is literally niggers are trying to have rights. And as white women, we cannot have that. But then we'll really sit in your face and be like, feminism, white feminism is about dismantling the patriarchy no you fucking liar it's about dismantling the power of black people and especially black women because anytime y'all saw black people getting a little something y'all was like no us white women need to get it first if you haven't seen my um hidden figures on johnny tillman look it up because that's exactly what happened johnny tillman black american woman created wick which we still use to this day created snap was a pioneer in the concept of universal basic income and welfare rights and the idea of like domestic workers and black women getting a fair fucking wage for our labor and the main reason why we didn't get it is because white women specifically said no they said we're trying to get out of the home we're trying to get out of the domestic and we're trying to get into the workforce feminism Woo! which is also why they started fighting for the vote Black people, they talking about giving black people the right to vote. They said, mm -mm. white women better get the right to vote before them niggers. But then they'll get in your face and be like, woo, we got to celebrate the suffragettes who were racists. <laughs> and the whole perspective of everything is wrong. Um, and then people want to argue with me about historical facts. Everything I'm saying, you can all you can go look up. Uh, you guys talking about Native American reparations. Hi, Rose. We definitely have been brainwashed into thinking that things will never change. Uh, hi, Deadly Gamer. I believe in us too. The government does not care about people. They care about dollars and cents. If we let them know they're... Exactly. If we let them know they're losing money by what's going on, they will listen. Hi, Quadri. Thank you. I swear I learned something new every day from you, Seren. Thank you for spreading our Black American knowledge and highlighting our people. You're more of a teacher than you'll ever know. Thank you so much. Uh, yes, exactly. Black T. Black T said people need to read Sandy Darity and Kirsten Mullen's book from here to equality. Reparations definitely needs to be more than money. Whenever you see a black American, walk up to them and tell them you believe in them. It has to be more than money. Uh, Etna gonna give me some of that motherfucking caked off slave money. I don't care. Yes, if anybody wants to share informational things and links and stuff, yes, please feel free to leave a comment in the video after I upload it. Yeah, exactly. Uh... Yeah. For reparations, we also need to consider where black Americans are because we all have different needs. A black farmer doesn't have the same needs as a nine to five worker. Right. Which is why like multifaceted was the right the right word. Like it has to be like a multi pronged and constant like like a generational like you guys said and like like all the farmers that got their land snatched and shit. Give them they shit back. Give them they shit back. Um, yes, yeah, somebody else said reparations should also be prison reform, where like nonviolent drug offenders should be let out, which you guys have heard me talk about as well. I have a video on drug addiction rant, like, like all this shit needs to occur. Um, let's see. I noticed that I've gone to look up some of the women you cover and they don't have Wikipedia's. They're hard to find. Um, we also need a piece of every company that has profited from mass incarceration. Uh, Seren is like, yeah, I know research methods. <laughs> I use these places called libraries. <laughs> uh, 
wealth tax is extremely necessary. Yes. Hi, Vanity. Uh, even for the land grants for Native Americans, they said that they can't specify Native in the legislature. They say five gen born here. Child, that's everybody. You know how many people are going to pretend to be Native for those land grabs? This is what I'm saying. Like, there's definitely certain shit that I know you can't put in legislature. Like, there's certain language you can't put in there. So I find it, again, like, I find it really interesting, this time frame that they put in the Evanston thing. Because they kind of effectively found a way to be like, y'all, but without actually explicitly putting it in the legislature. Um, yeah. By hook or by crook, we will get what we're owed. Uh, we need to give that person a cookie for real. Yeah, immigration reached its peak at 800 something in 1965. And after that, it was in the thousands and then the hundreds of thousands. Yeah, like motherfuckers was not coming here. Immigration and Nationality Act of 1965 changed a lot. <laughs> Saran really be teaching for free. <laughs> Hi, Krayshawn. They did not want to let black faces over here at first. Foreign blacks do not want to recognize that our fight is literally the reason they are here. Hi, the Afronaut. The passing down of our names is very important. Uh, so Myra, I discussed this in an episode of the Black Americans. I've also discussed this in another video. I believe the video might be called Call Us By Our Names, where I discuss names, namings, Black American names, because you have, this is a topic that gets people really riled up. I'm pretty sure it's in the BA Gang playlist, but I'm pretty sure the video is called Call Us By Our Names. And I know this was also discussed in a couple episodes of the Black Americans because you have some people that feel like they don't you know like I don't want my quote-unquote slave name and like you know they all that but then you have a lot of people that feel like the passing down of our names is like what you wrote here is important to our history you know I'm the third generation of my name and there's a fourth the story behind names can give clues of your ancestors which just so you know is what I said in the video that's my feeling as well I know some people change their names and you know they put the x to represent whatever I don't feel that way. I feel like we are who we are. These are our names. This is our lineage. You know, slavery happened. We got to go with it. Any shame is not ours. So I don't feel ashamed, you know, but call us by our names. I'm pretty sure it's the name of the video. So you should check it out. My father's people have been in Mississippi since the start of the antebellum South. Uh... <laughs> so are we or are we not a monolith? answer the question there's actually data people need to read the data and history it's so important your videos age well people assume that if you're not a centrist then you don't know what you're talking about right like i consider myself to be an anarchist oh there you are ambria super chat thank you i consider myself to be an anarchist which i think people think means that i'm like in a basement somewhere <laughs> like no this is my informed opinion after like reading and researching 1600 to 1984? No, 1984 is too late. 1984 is too, is too late. It has to be like 1600 to like 1965 or something. And if you came here after that, it's a no from me, dog. 1600 to 1964. I know Obama wouldn't get anything, but damn, he don't want reparations for his wife. Obama's just another neo-lib. <laughs> Davey, they had us in the first half, not gonna lie. Uh, yeah. The Zack Snyder review is coming out tomorrow. Exactly, Razy Cranham girl. The first known slaves came on these soils in 1619. That isn't to say that prior date. Yeah, I I would I think I would say sixteen hundred. I think I would say sixteen hundred to nineteen sixty five, maybe. Yes, I saw that on your in Instagram about Johnny Tillman. I had no idea a black woman created Wick. Yup. And the main beneficiaries, a black American woman, and the main beneficiaries of Wick are who? 
white women. Like, listen, y'all, black Americans have created everything good. I know people don't like that, <laughs> but like all the things that motherfuckers benefit from for real, all the things that motherfuckers benefit from for real, like black Americans had a hand in it. And it's because, like I put in my video, this is the problem. It's because black Americans are the only ones that are really invested in dismantling these like power st structures and these hierarchical systems. We're the only ones that are invested in dismantling them because we're the only, we're literally the only ones that are not benefiting from them. Like we're down at the bottom. So we're the only ones that are not, you know, benefiting from them. So we're the only ones that are like, nah, like we really need like this shit actually needs to go everybody else is just trying to get to the top which is why every time you have movements that are black american led and centered like it improves things for m most people if not all majority because like we're the ones that's like no like 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 Brown v. Board, for example. I use this example on Instagram. Brown v. Board. Brown v. Board desegregated all school systems. So like, for example, pre-Brown v. Board of Education, Asians, Asian Americans could not go to school with white people because schools were segregated, right? So like no one could go to school with white people. It, like it, it wasn't just that like now black people are allowed to go to school with white people. Now everyone is allowed to go to school with white people. So now you have Asians that are elite, you know, academics, that are elite, high top earners, that they're now suing to dismantle affirmative action because they feel like affirmative action is unfair and that like black Americans are like taking their spot in schools. Schools that they literally wouldn't even be in because they would not even be able to attend if it wasn't for Brown v. Board and black Americans and desegregation and the civil rights movement. Because they don't really want equality. They just want to get to the top. Black Americans are the only ones that actually want. Like I've said, people ask me, what do I want? And I'd be like, I just want it to be fair. I just want it to be fair. Black Americans are like, we just want it to be fair. That's it. Other people, they don't want it to be fair. They want to get to the top of the hierarchical structure. Foreign blacks, capitalists, they want to get to the top of the hierarchical structure. White people, all these other types of immigrants, they're trying to get to the top of the hierarchical structure. They're not trying to dismantle the structure. Black Americans are the only ones trying to dismantle the structure. So when black Americans say the kitchen is closed, it's a problem. Because everybody knows, everybody knows what's going on. When we say, bitch, the kitchen is closed, I'm putting a lock on this motherfucking refrigerator. The free rides and the free meals is over. Like, everybody knows that they get ahead off us because we are the permanent underclass. Everybody, whites, white women, everybody. Some folks really need to read They Were Her Property. Excellent book. I've read it. And then some might understand white women's role in white supremacy. Rep another form of reparation should be mental support as well. Being a black American is traumatic as fuck. <laughs> uh, when them black farmers get their land, AOC gonna be somewhere having a fit. <laughs> I do. <laughs> oh, look, Tim, you basically put it. <laughs> I too. Oh, Frozen, were you accidentally blocked and now you're back? Because I see that your comments are gone, but you're not banned. White folks have been pretending to be, be Native descent to get land and reparations. Oh, yeah, there. I see you got timed out. Hi, Richie. Yeah, we're still on. I'm behind, but I'm finally catching up. BA Gang, and yes, that's the name of it. So the video is Call Us By Our Names. Uh, facts all the time i probably learned it from you we're different is my favorite video somebody put on we're different somebody just put the other day like this is the best video on youtube call me by my sleeve name i want my things i'm not ashamed 
uh, now that I don't remember which Black Americans it was. It might have been, I think it's St. Louis, one of the St. Louis ones, not the one with Alicia, the other one with Jennifer, because Jennifer was talking about her name, how she doesn't really like her name. When, this is like when Erica Badu said she changed her name from Erica because it was her slave name. Like, people was really on that, like, shit for a while. Like, that's my slave name. I'm changing my name. Bah. Listen, whatever. Whatever helps you sleep at night. Uh, I respect if you don't want to carry your slave name. I get it. But nah, I suffered. This is my name now. Uh, it's the reason why I hyphenated my last name. Yeah, like keep it, keep it, keep it. Black Americans are angels on earth, basically. We did everything for everyone. When black Americans fight for things, literally everyone benefits. All these other races have benefited from the civil rights movement and continue to benefit from us being a permanent underclass, right? Which I've talked about repeatedly. They sued Harvard where I'm at. And it's like, how are you going to sue Harvard to get the black students out of there, the black Americans, when the black Americans desegregating schools is why you're even here? The problem is anti-blackness and anti-black American sentiment. Like, anti-black Americans catch it from all sides. We're supposed to be the permanent underclass. We're the only people that don't benefit from these structures. So we're the only ones that are like, these structures have to go. Everybody else is like... I mean, these structures aren't that bad. <laughs> and we're like, yes, they are. This is what I think every time I hear a foreign black be like, well, I'm just working. I I'm just working. Like, I'm just trying to make money. Number one, you're a capitalist. Let's start there. Like, you're basically saying you're a capitalist that will sell out your soul for money. You will sell, like, you're basically saying you'll do anything for money. <laughs> like you're just trying to like get to the top of the social hierarchy of our industrial capitalist complex, which like also runs off prison labor and like all this other stuff. Anytime anybody says that, that's all I hear is like, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I'm trying to get to the top of these systems. Like what you guys have heard me say, like that doesn't put me on your side when you say that. You're just confirming for me that you are an enemy. Uh, Native Americans at least have fishing and hunting rights, casinos, and receive state and local tax exemptions. I kind of feel like they feel like Black Amer like they killed all the natives. I kind of feel like they feel like Black Americans at least you still here, so y'all you know. <laughs> I feel like that's how people really think about it. Uh, any form of benefits is a result of black Americans, very literally. Afro-pessimism talks about us being the only, oops, whoops, being the only group not of this world to actually want to deconstruct and find solutions. Everyone else is just aspiring to whiteness. BAs get everyone in the keys because all we want is for shit to be fair. Uh... <laughs> Everyone else, well, where are we going to eat now? Exactly, Razy Cranham girl. When the black Americans say the kitchen is closed, when they're, when we say the, the refrigerator is locked, they say, well, where are we going to eat now? You know, I literally had this argument with someone, a foreign black, when they were like, well, I don't understand why black Americans are like so mean and like not willing to like give their brothers and sisters a little bit from off of their plate. I was like, black Americans don't have shit on our plate. You want me to give you my whole plate? My plate don't even have shit on it. Why am I required to give you my whole plate, bitch? The kitchen is closed. Like, y'all really think that black Americans exist to, like, lift you up? It is a mind fuck. For real. And people don't even feel bad about that. Or, like, they don't even think there's nothing wrong with it. Hi, Mel. Frozen, you're back. Yeah. They don't even think anything about it. Like, why don't you want to die for me? <laughs> like, what? Why don't you want to star starve to death for me? They sued schools like Harvard, assuming that the black students were unqualified. Meanwhile, whites and Asians still outnumber us at these schools. <laughs> Trey, 
You're the only black person in your class. You're one nigger too many, okay? You took up some very qualified white or Asian spot. It doesn't matter. The whole class is full of whites and Asians. There should be another white person or Asian in that class. Not you, bitch. What about, and they're still not mad about those white legacy admissions. Operation Varsity Blues. Black Americans even built Harvard. It's so weird to sue Harvard. <laughs> because we have perfect scores and they don't let us in when the average score isn't far from perfect they think their extra 30 points on the sat matters somebody just revealed two weeks ago in live stream that even the whole concept of the sat is racist and that it was invented by basically a white supremacist who created this standardized test to try to like prove that white people were smarter than black americans hmm Everything is because of anti-Black American sentiment. That's the problem. That's the problem that nobody wants to talk about. Anti-Black American sentiment is the foundation of all U.S. infrastructure. People dislike us because we are the reflection of their sins and everything they want to be. I agree. They have no plans to dismantle the structure that their grandparents immigrated to America for. Yeah, all this like, we just want the American dream. That's not even a real thing. That's not even a real thing. But then they'd be like, well, we're here because of American imperialism. You cannot have it both ways because the whole concept of the quote unquote American dream is also imperialism. So you can't say, well, we deserve X, Y, and Z because of imperialism. And then in the next motherfucking breath, be like American dream. Pick a side. Pick a side. Pick a motherfucking side. American dream is not even a real thing. I think you should watch the Black Americans playlist where I've talked extensively, or you could watch my whole fucking video with the global black girl and nappy headed jojoba shout out to them where we did a whole fucking special together on black americans staying or leaving the country don't ask me stupid questions what do you think about black americans leaving the country dumbass questions we don't even have a plate <laughs> the door is closed Mm. Uh, Trey, I apologize. I apologize for being the only nigger in the room. <laughs> uh, we aren't leaving this country that has our ancestors' blood growing on this very land. Like, I've done several videos on this. I'm not talking about that. Go look it up. Uh, and they lost the lawsuit, which was started by a white man. The American dream is our nightmare. The American dream is, is the antebellum South. Um, George Carlin said it's called the American dream because you have to be asleep to believe in it. It's getting old that you have to keep repeating yourself. Historically, black Americans have always lifted up everyone, including the whole diaspora. Oh, a what if question? What if all black Americans left? Like if we disappeared, um, the United States would stop. Well, I know you don't mean disappeared. Let me not say that because that's extreme. <laughs> but like the United States would stop. The United States would stop. The United States would stop. I've actually been thinking about this with regards to the music industry because We've been talking a lot about like what's going on with the music industry and like why is everything like so uninspired? And I think that a huge part of that is number one, shit's being like heavily whitewashed and brownwashed or wh however you want to call that. And so black Americans that have like historically been the leaders of pushing culture are being, especially in music, 
are being locked out. So that's why I think we're seeing a lot of stagnation. And I think that if we were to leave like in mass, all this shit would stop. This, I, it wouldn't be no more America if we all left or if we all disappeared. Yes, there is a short story about aliens coming and taking all black people away. When I said last week about like if white people disappeared, I was thinking about the short story about if aliens came and took all the niggas away. I can't think of what it's called right now, but that's what it's about. So if you like Google that, you'll find it. But I think everything was up. Where are we going to go? America's our home. Our ancestors built all this. The American dream is an American nightmare, like a long, drawn-out horror film. I'm at the end now. Yeah, I was so far behind, but I'm getting to the end now. Hi, Justin. Just in time to, to say hi and bye to Justin. <laughs> a whole eugenicist started the SATs. Black people got pushed out of disco, and look what happened. We got pushed out of rock, and look what happened. We got pushed out of jazz, and look what happened. You know, everything. And so I feel like that that's like a canary in the coal mine, like a microcosm of what I think would happen to all of American society. Without Black Americans, American society and culture, everything ceases to exist. That's why they need us. And that's why they need us at the bottom. All this shit stops working without us. Which is also why I feel like if motherfuckers really was like, we're not doing shit. And we're going to light shit on fire. And we're not playing no sports. We're not making no music. We're not making no songs. We're not doing no dances. We're not making no TikToks. We're not doing nothing. Until y'all pay what you owe. Everything will stop. Everything will stop. Yeah, there was a story where aliens come to Earth and take the niggas. Yep. Christian, everything will stop. Oh, Christian put, everything will stop. We're in a parasitic system. Everyone needs black Americans to survive. Yeah, everything will stop. Hi, the Black Breeze. Industry plants who don't really care for a craft are being pushed through. Hi, Ori. I'm getting to the bottom now. I was real far behind. I think it's you affect the effect. A, E, queen. Cosmic Slop. Thank you. They put the name of it. Cosmic Slop. That's the name of it. Cosmic Slop. Black Americans are the source. The space traders. The space traders. The spa I'm thinking of the space traders. Cosmic Slop is also... I feel like Cosmic Slop is based off the space traders. But I was thinking of the space traders. Thank you. Um, Razy Cranham Girl. George Clinton has a short film. Yeah, I wanted to say, I wanted to say like, par I was thinking in my head like, Parliament did something too, which is Cosmic Slop. And The Space Traders is short story. Cosmic Slop is a movie. Parliament, sorry, George Clinton. Everything, we make everything. Uh... Uh, I've always wanted a culture freeze. Everything halted until further notice. We could put Cosmic Slap on the Beast Big List. They also just re-released like a new mat remastered everything version. So this is so this is the 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 traders one, the space traders. Extraterrestrials arrive on Earth and offer to the United States gold, safe nuclear power, and other technological advances in a, in exchange for the government's handing over of all black US citizens. That's the space traders. Cosmic Slop is another one. Uh We're literally the machine, that, the engine that keeps this machine running. Nah, the USA immigration would just bring in the new, a new demographic. I disagree with, well, I don't disagree with you, but I disagree. How do I say this? You can't just bring new people in. <laughs> This is what we're seeing right now, and it's already not working. Like, they're trying to, like, I, this is why I say the music industry is, like, a microcosm of what I think would happen. Like, the Grammys had just had, like, the lowest fucking viewership ever. Only, only 7 million people watched, right? But even last year, pre-COVID, when they gave Billie Eilish all those fucking awards and shit like that, that was the lowest 
until this year because the whole – I'm just using this as an example. Fuck the Grammys. Fuck the award shows. But it's, like, the whole – like, they're trying to, like, put white people and, like, like foreign blacks and, like, non-black persons of color and all these people. They're trying to put – by Rose. They're trying to put all these people in these roles. But just because you bring in some new people – those people not going to be us. Like, those people are not us. Those people are not us. They, they're just not. Like, they're just not. And everything that they're doing is still copying off of Black American culture. So without the Black American culture, the spark, you know, you can't, you can't just bring people in and be like, do what those Black American niggers do. They can't do it. That's why the movies are flopping. Queen and Slim, flop. Like, the movies are flopping. All this shit is flopping. They're trying, but it's not working. Because you can't just be like, them some niggas, if they not. So, I don't agree that we, like, we're not interchangeable. They're trying, and it's not working. <laughs> and it's not working, which is why shit keeps flopping. Cosmic Slop is here on YouTube. If black Americans left, American culture would stagnate, which means culture all over the world would in turn stagnate because culture is America's biggest export. Hi, CMW. You guys know that, right? They say that culture, which is black American culture, popular culture is the United States' biggest export. Our culture gets all over the world and becomes global popular culture. So you can't just get rid of the black Americans, which is definitely what they're trying to do. And we're seeing what's, what's occurring even though these people are given careers and they're given tons of money and they're given tons of awards, something is still occurring. It's, there's a disconnect. Bye. Let me just get to the bottom. It wouldn't just be boring. Nothing would exist. They need someone to do their labor. Right. Like nothing would exist. Like everything would stop. Like even if they tried to like bring in more people, it Everything would stop. Cosmic Slop is an anthology. I'm I'm thinking of Cosmic Slop the film. George Clinton. But you're talking about something else. Cosmic Slop is an anthology book and Space Traders is one of the stories. I've read just the Space Traders story. I haven't read the entire thing. But and I've seen Cosmic Slop the film. What will we bring to the table? Oh yeah, right, Imperfect D. Bye, Rose. Bye. We're not interchangeable. I agree. If they try to bring in another demographic to replace us, it will fail. We can't be replaced. No one can do what we do. Our power to create is what makes us so valuable. And in the very first episode of The Black Americans, I discussed this with my friend Ken, where we talk about how our ability to create is directly related to American chattel slavery because we had to constantly be creating because you never knew you never knew when you were going to be ripped away from your family members and sent somewhere else totally different you never knew when they were going to steal your music you never know when they're going to steal like black Americans never know when something's going to be stolen from us so our culture is creation our slang is constantly evolving and changing our music is constantly evolving and changing the way that we dress that we are creation you can't can't just replicate that. And when niggas say that, people get so mad. Like in the We're Different video, motherfuckers was hot. They don't like that. But it's true. It's true. It grew out of our history because we have a history of having nothing and having to create something from nothing. History, that's what our culture is. That's what we do. Everybody can't do that. If you get rid of your bottom, you will topple. The system thrives on black Americans at the bottom. Can't you just get rid of us. America thinks it's Beyonce. We are not replaceable. Constant innovation is our culture. You are culture. For very first episode of Black Americans, me and my friend Ken go into this concept in depth. Agreed. They be listening in chats and on social media, taking notes to provide for commercials, movies, everything. We are creators. Black Americans are unique. How can you replicate an ethnic group with its own history of creation? 
they created a monster and now they mad. Right. They created a monster and now they mad. Sorry. I'm sorry that, you know, we're the shit. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Innovation unmatched, creating delicacies from pig guts. Like, huh? Right. Like, everybody can't do what we do. Pe motherfuckers hate hearing that. Because that's when they'd be like, oh, black Americans think they better than everybody. And da 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 Well, hey. Hey, everybody can't do what we do, clearly. And everything we do catches the fuck on and becomes worldwide culture and emulated. I, you know, if I was you, I'd hate me too. And I'm gonna just end it right there. Yeah. <laughs> so nice long live stream for you guys i am gonna call it probably if i was you I, Kyrie. if i was you i'd hate me too louis vuitton shoes and a whole lot of booze every other week a different dude another cruise i make offers nobody can refuse you might even see me on the channel nine news let me go listen to some kim bye y'all